Yo! What's good, everybody? Hope everybody's having an awesome Thursday, and I hope everybody's ready for another awesome stream. Today, we're playing Triple Threat Offline for the first time this season. The other day, we beat Clutch Time. We got Pascal Siakam. Of course, we also have Baron Davis, Maurice Lucas. We've added a few Galaxy Opals to my squad this season, and today, we're gonna be adding another new Galaxy Opal to the team. Galaxy Opal Terry Cummings. He's a power forward, center, 6'9", nice three-point shot, 15 Hall of Fame badges. Seems like a pretty worthy reward for a thousand wins. So today, we're going to grind out the final 70 games of my grind, and yeah. Of course, we already have Pink Diamond Xavier McDaniel, for anybody who's wondering, so I'm not really worried about getting him. All I'm really concerned about is just winning all these 70 games, which we're not going to lose a single game. We're just going to, you know, have to sit here and grind through them all, which is pretty tedious. But no matter what, I hope you guys are ready for a big stream. Hope you guys are ready to watch me hit a lot of threes with Damian Lillard. Yeah, we're going to be getting Terry Cummings today. And I guess we'll shoot around with him after we get him. Look at his stats, badges, attributes, all that stuff. Nonetheless... I hope you guys are ready for an awesome stream today. You guys say what's up to me in the chat, if you haven't already. And without any further ado, let's get this grind started. Hey, what up, Cum Bucket? What's up, Mr. Chiz? What's up, Jordan? Zay? David? Eli? Melly? My boy Fable said, yo, what's up? What's good, Fable? Welcome to the stream. What a way to announce your presence by renewing your membership. You've been a member for almost half a year now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Shout out to my boy Fable for supporting the channel as Lillard knocks down our first shot. What's up, TJ? What's up, Eduardo? Welcome to the stream. Jalen said, how did you hit level 39? By grinding a lot of XP. Speaking of level 39, we're probably going to get level 40 tomorrow. We're probably going to get 40 tomorrow, so yeah, we'll stream that. Getting Yao Ming tomorrow. Today, we're getting Terry Cummings, and I guess tomorrow we'll get Yao Ming. Colin said you should have been playing online. I mean, I have Pascal Siakam. I play Triple Threat online all the time. Why, why do you always complain about me playing offline? You don't make sense to me. What's up, NMG Gaming? What's up, Shadow Plays? What's up, Turks? What's up, Mamba? I hope we get something good tomorrow in packs. I really hope so. I mean, then again, you guys know I don't care too much about what's inside the packs. I just like opening packs on my other account. Just for content, pretty much. Legendary said, gonna be a good stream, for real. I agree. What's up, Legendary? Michael G, Human Zombie. 24 games away from Cliff? That's nothing. You can get 24 games done in less than two hours, so... Yeah, you're looking good on that cliff grind. Bad shot. Tyler says, I'm waking and chatting. You mean walking? What's up, Lixmos? What's up, Black One? What's up, BH Dark? Mamba Green says, just let him do what he wants. I'm Yeah, I was going to say, why do people complain about what I'm streaming? It doesn't make sense to me. What's up, Gabby K? NMG Gaming said, when does Cliff go away? Never. Jalen says, I'm 123 games away from Terry. That's nothing either. 123 games? That'll take you about 7-8 hours of consecutive grinding. Assuming you just never lose. And if you play Triple Threat offline seriously, you know, actually trying to win, actually focused on winning, you should never lose. Especially if you're using one really good shooter and two gold players just like I am. You should be fine. 
PG said just pulled clay out of a single. Nice. Kinetic said that's what I'm grinding today. Triple threat offline. I got COVID. There's nothing else to look forward to doing. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, you guys know this. I grind triple threat offline, unlimited, you know, triple threat online every season. So I don't get why there's a couple guys in the chat saying, play triple threat online, play online. Shut the fuck up. Let me do what I want to, man. Let's get this grind over with. Let's get Terry Cummings. Then tomorrow we're going to get Yao Ming. Good shot. Hey, what up, Dallas? Welcome to the stream. What's up, 2K Assassin? I just got Kazzy. Huge dub. That is a huge dub. I've heard Kazzy Russell's awesome. We'll get him later in the season, though. Andy says, I need help for the limited lineup. The limited lineup, I don't think it's too hard. You need point guards who are, like, below 6'2", below 6'3". I think you need forwards below, like, 6'7". I can't remember the limited requirements, but I guess I can go take a look at them right now. Yeah, here we go. Limited warm-up week two, pro difficulty. What are the week two rules? All guards must be 6'1 or shorter, forwards 6'9 or shorter, and centers 7 feet or shorter. Okay, so you can't use free agents. I guess we'll take a quick break just so I can show you guys some good limited players. Point guards, Allen Iverson's a really good one, 6 feet tall. Um, I think Lillard's 6 foot 2. Yeah, so Iverson's a great one. I think Mark Price is six feet tall, if you have him. Of course, I think Trey Young's six foot one. So that's three good guards right there. Kemba Walker is also six feet tall. I think Rondo's six foot one too. So there's a bunch of good point guards right there. Of course, you're also gonna have to use point guards at the shooting guard position. I mean, forwards below six foot nine. There's Calvin Nat right here. Paul Silas is six foot eight. No, six foot seven. So there's two good guys right there. I think Siakam is six foot nine. Maurice Lucas also six foot nine. So there's two more good forwards you can use. And then at the center position, anybody below seven feet tall. So Drummond works as you see right there. I think Capella's also six foot ten. Yeah, I mean it's really not that hard. You just gotta make sure you look at the players' heights that you're using, and you should be fine. Hey, what up, Chuba? What's up, Uchku? What's up, Delta Ray Studios? What's up, Xenon? Mr. Kinetic? I see you close to Yao Ming. We are super close to Yao Ming. Mamba said, is Xavier McDaniel good? Yes. Dallas said, CP the Savage. The Human Zombie said, Doc, what you be able to keep it family friendly by chance. That sentence doesn't really make sense. What's up, Vote for Butter? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jamika? Yeah, so the limited requirements really aren't that tough. Honestly, all you gotta do is just Find players who are, you know, below the required heights. So, Kemba Walker is a good one. You can get him from those challenges. Those, what's it called? The moments challenges. You can get Trey Young from there too. I think Patty Mills is also six feet tall. So, you can get him from those same challenges as well. There's a lot of options, man. Of course, you can't use players like Damian Lillard or Steph Curry. Because those guys are like 6'2", 6'3". You're not going to be able to use Dwayne Wade or Kobe or anybody like that. So you got to get a little bit creative with your squad this week. You need to take advantage of guys like Patty Mills, for example. I mean, centers, finding centers below 7 feet tall is pretty easy. Forwards below 6 foot 9, that's also pretty easy. Hey, what up, Michaela? What's up, Turks? What's up, Luca? Come Bucket said, what do you think we're going to get tomorrow? I have a feeling we're going to get a great center tomorrow. And we haven't gotten Wilt Chamberlain yet. Well, we haven't gotten Wilt Chamberlain in a while. We have a pink diamond from season one, but he hasn't gotten a great new card since. He has a ruby, but that's pretty much it. So maybe a Galaxy Open Wilt Chamberlain tomorrow. We'll have to see, but man, I know we're going to get somebody insane tomorrow, whether it's a Opal Oscar or Opal Wilt Chamberlain. We'll have to see, but... My prediction as of right now is an Opal Wilt, maybe even glitched, so he has a three-point shot. Maybe. Hey, what up, Mr. Mario? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Brandon? Yes, I did hear about Lino. I watched his video. It is sad, but hey, at least he's doing what he's happy doing. Sinpa said, can you get Yao Ming without getting 15,000 XP from Showdown? E I'm pretty sure, definitely. I mean, 
I'm level 39 right now, and I haven't played any Unlimited this season. I didn't do the showdown tier last season, so... Yeah, I'm fairly certain that tomorrow I'll be able to get Yao Ming without doing any of the showdown stuff. Dallas said 2K is still dropping short guards. I'm thinking a good D-Rose. We haven't gotten a good D-Rose in a minute, and... Yeah, I would love to see a good Derek Rose. Maybe even glitched. We haven't gotten Flash in a long time, so... Maybe tomorrow we get a Will Chamberlain who can shoot, who also has an NBA 75 card. Maybe we also get a Derrick Rose who can knock down threes. 2K Assassin said, do you think they would put cards in the vault and boards tomorrow? Uh, no, not tomorrow. They usually do that later in the season. If they do it tomorrow, I'm not going to complain. But usually we see cards in the vault and in Triple Threat Online and in the Clutch Time Wheel Spin later in the season. Mr. Mario said, did you finish up all the heat check challenges? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I mean, if you stack those challenges together, it, it really doesn't take that much time. So I think there are some challenges where you have to win a game with five heat check players from the heat. You have to win a game with five heat check players from the Magic, for example. So you can just pick up five heat check players from each of those teams and then put them all together on a team and then play a three minute challenge game with those guys so yeah I was able to get through those pretty fast over the last couple days what up legendary I want a good Levine card we haven't gotten a good Levine in a long time I felt I know we have the diamond Levine but that's pretty much it other than that we just have a Sapphire and a Heat Check Levine. We need a good Levine. A Pink Diamond, a Diamond would be really cool. Alrighty. Let's see if I can actually get a shot to fall. There we go. Hey, what's up? All well, Koo. Welcome to the stream. Aryan said Diamond Lillard's coming out. I guess we'll see if you're right. Kevin Durant said last night I got Xavier McDaniel. Congratulations. He's really good. Yeah, Xavier McDaniel's great. Haven't used him much, but I've seen some gameplays for him. I've looked at his stats and badges. And offensively, he seems pretty fun. Defensively, though, amazing. Good pass. Finally, we're getting some shots to fall. If we get a new Levine card, he'll be insane. Yeah, for real. Like Levine, he has the easy jump shot. Super athletic, great dunker. He's probably going to have good handles, too. Levine cards are always a lot of fun to me. Some of my favorites, personally. Hey, what up, Kermit? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Black One? He said, has anybody done the heat check triple threat challenges for XP? I finished up the five player heat check challenges, but the 3v3 is not working for me. What do you mean, the 3v3 challenges? Are you talking about the XP agendas? Because I did those the other day. I did those while playing triple threat offline. Sasuke said, how you get Joakim? He was a reward in Season 2. So, you might have to time travel back to Season 2 if you want to get Joakim Noah, but he's a pretty good gold center. I use him in Triple Threat offline all the time. Good offensive rebounder, shot blocker, all that stuff. I don't really shoot with him because I don't really have to. I shoot every shot with Lillard pretty much, and every now and then Corey Kisper. But, now when Lillard gets takeover, all I gotta do is step back and fire and... Yeah, we can get through these games super fast. Austin said, yo, what's up, Austin? What's wrong? Welcome to the stream, my man. But I swear, you always pull up to these streams sad. Welcome to the stream, Austin. Yeah, that's already three wins. We've been live for about 15 minutes. But to be fair, I've been just talking for about three or four of those minutes. Hey, what up, John DLC? What's up, Lucas Gamer? What's up, Icy Snipes24? Welcome to the stream, you guys. Hey, I haven't said this yet. We've been live for over 15 minutes, and I still haven't said this yet. You guys make sure to drop a like on the stream for me if you haven't already. Talk to me in the chat. Let me know how you're doing, and let's grind through these games. We need to win a thousand games to get... What's his name? Terry Cummings? We've already won over 900, so today we're just going to be closing out that grind. Bad shot. To be fair, though, we're being guarded by Dr. J. Hey, what's up, bub? Sasuke said, do you have Xavier McDaniel? Yes. 
I think I just said I did a few minutes ago. Helen said, do you think I can get 40 on Friday? Yes. I mean, I'm going to get 40 on Friday. I think you can too, depending on how much XP 2K releases. I didn't even do the showdown tier, but I'm level 39. There's more than enough challenges to grind. It's all about, you know, how much time you put in and how much effort you put into actually getting through the games and the challenges. That's what it's all about. John said, what level are you? 39. Rel said, yo, what's up, Rel? Welcome to the stream, my man. Early. I'm out here shooting terribly with Lillard. There we go. Icy Snipes said, when do you think we get Galaxy Opal Tatum? No idea. Hey, though. Deezer, EU. Thank you for the sub. I think that's our first new sub of the stream right there, so... Thank you for subscribing, DZ. Welcome to Doc Nation, man. We got that switch. Let's go ahead and just move it back. Look how tight the CPU is guarding us. Let's just snatch back and knock down that three. PG says, got Yao. He's so nice. I've heard. Tom said, hey, Doc, how's it going? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, my boy Tom. Also, what's up, Joe? Joe said 200 plus games, no Reggie Lewis. That sucks. I don't have him either. I want him. I've heard he's one of the best players in the game, but I still don't have him yet. It's crazy. The odds of getting him are terrible, and he's not even going to be in that exchange thing at the end of the season. Not the exchange, um, beyond 40, so yeah. Hopefully I can get Reggie Lewis sometime during the season, but so far, no luck. Hey, what up, Randall? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Harry? And what's up, Jared? Hey, happy Tuesday to you, too. No, happy Thursday to you. My fault. Happy Thursday. Also, Scal, Doc Nation Superstar. What? Out of nowhere, my boy Scal buys a Superstar membership. Welcome to the stream, and thank you. I'm doing great, man. Hope you're doing all right, too. Hey, that's a big dub to start things off today. NMG Gaming said, who's in the Beyond 40? The Beyond 40 is going to be the Galaxy Opals in Triple Threat Offline and Online, who we get on January 31st. It's going to be the Draft Reward, Tony Parker. It's going to be the Ascension Reward, Maurice Lucas. And it's also going to be... Who's the last one? I always forget. Ascension, Draft, Triple Threat Offline, Online, and... Who's the last one? I, I always forget. Literally always. Because it's not clutch time. I'm trying to think of who it was last season. Limited. My team limited. So it's going to be Shea Gildas Alexander probably. I, I always forget that limited's in there. Because I don't think of limited as a luck-based reward thing. I mean, you just play a few games, get the ring, and you do that as the season goes on. So I, I always forget my team limited. I see Snipes said, is Yao Ming worth it? Yes. Tom said, doing pretty good. Got finals next week. I'm prepared to have some spare time. I appreciate that, Tom. Hey, good luck on your finals. Study hard. Lock in. You got this. And of course, I appreciate anybody who makes time for my streams. Harry says, I got Xavier out the vault in my fifth vault open. I got him in my third. Nice. NMG says, I might have to do it for Maurice Lucas. Maurice Lucas is so good, too. So, if there's one player I'd say it's worth doing it for, it might be Maurice Lucas. But, of course, we'll have to see who the player in the vault is. And we'll also have to see who the player in Triple Threat Online is. Right now, it's Kazzy Russell, but I think they're going to put a Galaxy Opal into the vault and the Triple Threat Online boards in the second half of the season, starting on January 31st. NMG said, did you get Lucas? Yes. Galisi said, just to remember ship. I appreciate that, Scal. Welcome to the stream, my man. Eduardo said, limited. Human Zombie said, limited. Yeah, I forgot it was limited. I always forget that the My Team Limited reward is in Beyond 40. I mean, I get why, because limited technically is a luck-based game mode. Because getting the ring is not guaranteed. You're not guaranteed to get it every single game. You're not guaranteed to get the ring if you just play a few games every single week. But for me, I have pretty good luck getting the rings. I got my ring first game last week. Hey, what up, Greek Freak? Welcome to the stream. 
Turk said, is a, is a Samsung G5 monitor any good? I don't know much about Samsung monitors. I don't know too much about those. I have an HP monitor, and I have one LG monitor. And those are the two main ones I use. I don't know too much about Samsung monitors, but... I don't know. If you look at the specs, look at reviews online... I don't know. I guess you can see how good they are, because I seriously don't know. I wish I could be more help, but... I've just never used them or looked at them before. Shawnee said, finally caught a stream of yours. Hey, I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, Shawnee. If you can't make it to streams, it's all good. I know you guys get busy. Y'all have sports, school, work. I get it. Good shot, Corey. Hey, what's up, Dimitri? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Landon? You will get Cummings before me because I'm grinding for other stuff. Yeah, man. You're the ultimate triple threat offline grinder, but... I thought today we'd lock in and play Triple Threat offline because we've been playing a lot of online lately. On Sunday, we played Clutch Time, we got 50 wins and marked price. On Monday, we played Draft Mode for Tony Parker. And then, of course, on Tuesday, we played more Clutch Time and got Siakam. So yeah, we've played a lot of multiplayer this season. It's time for us to just chill out and play some single player. And then tomorrow, we're going to get some XP challenges done for Yao Ming, so... This stream's gonna be pretty chill, tomorrow's stream's gonna be chill, and eventually we'll start playing some online game modes again, but clutch time takes a toll on you, man. It really does. That is a sweaty, sweaty game mode. Hey, what's up, Elvin TV? Welcome to the stream. Dallas says, I quit limited. Why do you quit limited? I think Shay Gildas Alexander is gonna be good. At the same time, though, you have mentioned your terrible luck getting rings before. So maybe that's why. Icy Snipe said, is Ruby Marcus Smart a good budget card? He's a great budget card, yes. One of my favorites. Dimitri said, hey Doc, hope your day is good. It's been a great day for me, man. I've just been chilling and got some good food earlier. Got to hang out with a couple friends of mine and do some planning for these next few days. I'm going to stream tomorrow post a video on Saturday, and probably post a video on Sunday too, then probably stream again on Monday, so I've been getting some planning done today, getting some thumbnails done, and just mapping out what I'm going to do on stream on the channel over the next few days. Melly says I missed the DeMar DeRozan stream. That's okay. You're here for this one. Hey, what's up, Gabe? Welcome to the stream. Chubba said watching Doc and taking a test is a dub. Hmm, focus on the test more. I appreciate you talking in the chat. I appreciate you supporting the channel, but I don't want you failing your test. So lock in. Get that test done, man. Dallas said every single week it takes 15 plus games. That's true. You have some weird luck with that. I'm glad you're locking in. I'm glad you're going to get Shay, but 2 k has got to give you some better odds because I swear I've seen you and a few other guys. I think Roko or Migs always talking about how many games it takes. Last week, we got our ring in one game. It's crazy that some guys have to play like 15 to 20 games to get their ring. It makes no sense because I don't know. Rel said just at level 35. Not bad. Not bad at all. Level 35 is the halfway point for XP. So if you're already level 35, like right now, that's a pretty good start to the season because we're not even one full week in. That's why I don't understand guys who ask, is my level good? Do I still have time to get Yao Ming? Because there's over a month left in the season. And there's already dudes hitting 40. And the season just started, so... If they're hitting 40 a couple days into the season, you have time to hit 42, so... I'll never understand dudes who are asking that question. Especially so early in the season. Later in the season, it starts to be a bit more justified, though. Early in the season, though, eh. Cringe. Good shot, Dame. Hey, what's up, Poggy Nader? Welcome to the stream. Snipe Grinder said, got my ring first game. Yeah, me too last week. Sometimes it'll take me a few more than, you know, just one game. Sometimes it'll take me four games, five games. In the past, it's taken me like eight or nine, but I don't know. I've never had a bad experience chasing a ring in 2K22. In 2K21, I had some bad experiences, but they really made getting rings easier. I think after season one of 2K21. And now it feels like getting rings is just a super easy thing for a lot of people. 
But then for every person who says the getting rings is easy, there's someone out there like Dallas who has to play 15 games every week for a ring. So that doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense, but you guys keep on grinding, get those rings. And I think Shea Gildas Alexander is going to be great. Olympian said, I have 127,000 XP. That's almost level 39, I'm pretty sure. Hey, what up, Snags RT? Welcome to the stream. Scal says, I'm praying we get Opal T Mac tomorrow. He's my favorite player ever. I don't know if we'll get T Mac tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm thinking we'll get Opals who are the NBA 75 players. T Mac, I think he's going to be a Chinese New Year player. We always seem to get a T Mac for Chinese New Year. We usually get a Yao Ming too, but of course, he's level 40. We'll probably get Yi Jian Lian and guys like that. I think T Mac's going to be later in the season. Tomorrow, I'm thinking someone like. Oscar Robertson, Wilt Chamberlain. Of course, I don't know who the other players are going to be, but we also need like an NBA 75 Lillard. We need a lot more NBA 75 guys, so I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to get a bunch of those. Ivory says, I'm ready to get off work and grind. Hey, I feel you. There's so much to do this season. I mean, there's clutch time. You got to get 100 wins for Siakam. There's Danny Granger in Unlimited. Kazi Russell in Triple Threat Online, Xavier McDaniel Offline. And we also got some new spotlight challenges. And of course, grinding XP is easier than it's been all year. There's a lot to do, Ivory. I know you're ready to grind. Airball2K says we need a center tomorrow. That's why I'm thinking Wilt Chamberlain, because, I mean, Yao Ming's already available. Guys already have Yao, so I'm thinking tomorrow we get a center to kind of not counteract Yao, Actually, counteracts a pretty good word. So, yeah. We'll get a center tomorrow who kind of, you know, cancels out Yao Ming in the purest sense of the word. And it could be a Flash Will Chamberlain who can actually hit threes. He's going to have a slow release, but he's going to be a good rebounder, a good shot blocker. So, maybe he's going to be glitched to knock down threes. And, of course, he's going to get a good NBA 75 card, too. I mean, Bill Russell has an NBA 75 card who can shoot, so... It's only right that Will Chamberlain does too. So maybe Flash tomorrow for the first time since season two. Because we haven't gotten Flash in forever. We've gotten like different variations of Flash, but we haven't gotten Flash itself in forever. Matt the man said, yo, it's me, Grape. A uh, deformed Grape? I remember you, if that's you. Also, it's me, GA. Thank you for the sub. And welcome to Doc Nation, man. But yeah, Deformed Grape, I remember that guy in my streams. I remember a lot of names. I tell you guys all the time, I'm pretty good with names in my chat. Dallas said Billy Cunningham is so bad. Honestly, I used him the other day offline, and I kind of liked him, Dallas. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I think it's just because I was playing offline. I thought Billy Cunningham was kind of nice. His jump shot, really low release point, but not hard to green, not bad defensively, and a really good dunker. I actually enjoyed using that card, so maybe I got to play online with him, but I actually kind of enjoyed using him offline. I was getting challenges done with him in triple threat. Hey, what's up, Nova? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Scoobert? What's up, Sorry Did It Again? Let's go ahead and snatch back and knock down that three. Wiseman says, I'm one win away from Pascal. Hopefully, I don't get any sweats. Even if you do, Wiseman, I mean, you don't need to... What am I trying to say? You can lose twice in a row and then get the win. Like, you get three chances if you're one win away from Pascal. So, don't worry about it too much. You got this. Snipe Grinder says, watch me get Tony with zero losses. Man, I should have gotten Tony the other day. I started my stream like 10 and 0. I didn't lose a single game. And then I didn't get Tony Parker on the top board. Then I drafted a new team, but that team was terrible. So, yeah. Not the best luck the other day, but I'll get Tony Parker sometime before the season ends. Turk says, who do you think is the best card in my team history? Hmm, that's a tough one. There's the GOAT Kareem from 2K20. He was really good. There was the, of course, 
Invincible Bull Bull from last year. Invincible Taco from last year. It's got to be one of the Invincibles or the GOATs from the last two years, in my opinion. Hey, my boy AJ is back in the building again. He said, what up, Doc? What's good, AJ? Welcome to the stream and member for 12 months? Oh, man. AJ, that means you should have that Galaxy Opal member icon pretty soon. 12 months supporting this channel as a member. That's crazy. Welcome to the stream, my brother AJ. Sinpa said, is Pascal Siakam worth it? Yes, he's great. Scooper said, I would say Bol Bol. Yeah, Bol Bol is amazing. Was amazing in 2K21 and 2K20. Hey, what up, paid to win? Welcome to the stream. Gregory said, yo, Doc, haven't been here in a while. Love seeing the grind. Same here, man. It's just good to be back on the grind. Good to see you back in the chat. Welcome to the stream, my boy. We have 167 people in the stream, and we literally just started 30 minutes ago, so... You guys talk to me in the chat, sit back, relax, enjoy the stream, and if you're new, maybe even subscribe to my channel. I post or stream NBA 2K content every single day. I'm pretty consistent, and we're on the road to 24,000 subs. We might get there by the end of the weekend, maybe by the end of today, depending on how well this stream does. Mr. Mario said, did you do the limited and unlimited XP? I, I've not done that yet. I played one game of Limited last weekend, and I haven't played a single game of Unlimited yet this season. And I've only played like 15 games of Triple Threat Online. I mean, I guess I could check after this game right here to see how many games I've played of Triple Threat Online, but I've barely played any. The only online game modes I've played are TTO and Clutch Time. One game of Limited, that barely counts. Zero games Unlimited. Also, it doesn't really count. Hey, what up, Rexa? Welcome to the stream, my guy. Paid to win said, good to see you streaming, bro. Good to be streaming. I love streaming, man. I also love those donos. Look at my boy, Hi Yi Wang, dropping his daily dono. My man always drops one dono per stream. Shout out to Hi Yi with the 279. First dono of the stream. That's a great way to kick things off. Thank you for the dubs, Landon, and Legendary. Let's go ahead and step back. Ooh, that's gonna miss. Never mind. Hey, what up, Dinky Donuts? Welcome to the stream. Richard said, how many offline games have you completed? I want to say 937. I haven't really kept count, but I think we've played about seven games this stream. I'm not winning very fast, so... Let me start shooting better, let me start playing better, and we should be able to start winning these games a lot faster. Pocky Nader says, I suck at clutch time. I have 70 losses. Hey man, it's all about getting better at the game, all about practice. Clutch time can be a bit of an adjustment for everybody because it's such a fast paced game. The course is pretty small and it's five on five. So players take up a lot of space. It's very easy to you know, get stops on defense, and pretty hard to score in the half court, so it's all about practice and playing at a fast pace. You gotta get used to it for sure, because it's tough at first. It really is tough. Shawnee said, is Antoine worth it for the XP and the MT? Yes. I see Snipe said, is Donovan Mitchell worth it? Not sure. Haven't played against him or used him. Rashad says, I got Opal Maurice Lucas on my last ascension board. That's crazy. On your final ascension board. That is super clutch. And I said this earlier, Maurice Lucas is really good. As of right now, he's one of the best big men in the game. He might not be as polished on offense as Yao Ming. He might not have, you know, the same easy release as Yao Ming. He's not seven foot six like Yao, but I mean, he's mobile, amazing on defense. He can really guard any position with his lateral quickness and, you know, leaping ability and wingspan and whatnot. And he can also shoot pretty consistently too. Maurice Lucas is really great. I would preferably use him at the power forward, but he can also guard centers who are taller than he is. Snatchin said, what badges does he need? I haven't looked at his badges, so I can't remember. I know he's missing a few. He's missing some key shooting badges. Defensively though, he has pretty much everything he needs. And he's not much of a dribbler. So maybe badge him out with shooting. 
and that could be big for you. Good shot, Dame. The Wiseman dude said Chet Holmgren might be broken when he gets a card in 2K. Yeah, Chet, he is probably going to be broken because, I mean, he's the man, the man is 7 feet tall. He can dribble. He's got a jumper. And the biggest things for him that he's got to work on are just, you know, getting stronger, bulking up, getting better defensively. But he's already got a solid foundation. He's such a fun player to watch, too. Richard said, wait one or two weeks from now, it should be less sweaty. That's true. A lot of guys like to go for Pascal and, you know, Mark Price early in the season. Dudes just love rushing to grind for awards. And of course, I mean, I can't really talk because I already have Pascal, but I agree with Richard. I think it's going to be a little less sweaty in a couple weeks, unless 2K adds some really good rewards to clutch time, which I don't think they're going to do this early in the season, but... Yeah, as the season goes on, I think it will get slightly less sweatier. Because dudes love to grind and get rewards early in the season. Like me. Hey, what up, Sertain? Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, King Jess? What's really good, fam? Hey, you know what's going on, King Jess. You know it's a good day for me. We're just chilling, playing the game. I can talk to you guys and add another Opal to my squad today. I hope you're doing alright too, King Jess, my man. Legendary says, I really hope 2K can slide a Ty Ty Washington Jr. from Kentucky. He's a hooper for real. Facts. Man. I'm looking forward to seeing these college troopers in the game next year. For real. Turks said, why is Austin sad? Austin's always sad when he joins the stream. I mean, he's a pretty busy dude. He always gets behind in school. He doesn't have much time to play 2K anymore or be in the streams anymore. And he's always down bad when it comes to females, too. I don't want to take shots at Austin, but that's what he says. Landon said, use Patty Mills. I mean, I would, but Lillard has a diamond contract, so I'm going to use Lillard instead. Hey, what up, Des Bent? Welcome to the stream. Go ahead and step it back right here. Got to make that. Got to make those threes. Oh, no. Waste of time. I shot a two instead of a three. It's all good. Stefan said, yo, what's good, Doc? Been a while. Glad to be back. Your streams are so chill and positive. I appreciate that. I always try to maintain the chill vibes in the streams, man. No need to get too toxic or angry at anybody. At the end of the day, we're just chilling and playing the game. That's what it's all about. My boy Jess said, I'm a good fan. I'm at work putting in those hours. I think Denver's going to regret trading Bull Bull away for nothing. Hey, man, Denver, of course, Bull Bull has great potential, but I understand why they made the trade. I mean, he's not finding much playing time, even with all the injuries they have, which kind of makes no sense. It's kind of weird he's not getting much playing time, but the Nuggets this season have been solid, and of course, I think they'd be so much better if they had Jamal Murray and MPJ, so I think they tried to trade away Bull Bull for some instantaneous value for some guys who can help them out like right now so i think that's what they were thinking with that bull bull trade even though bull bull has so much potential it is kind of weird they just decided to trade him away but i hope he can start to reach that potential on the celtics right i'm pretty sure he's on the celtics the dark knight said hello what's up dark knight welcome to the stream Kid Pronto says, I can never get good connection on clutch time. I've been seeing so many other guys say the same thing, talking about how laggy clutch time is for them, which was weird because you wouldn't think it's too laggy. The servers have been fine lately, to be honest with you. Charlie said, what's good, Doc? What's up, Charlie? He's got to stop on defense right quick. Stefan said, song right now, this is Lost It All by Will V. Lost It All. Pretty good song. This entire playlist is pretty good, and it's all non-copyrighted, which is great. 
The Wiseman dude says, I feel bad for Pistons fans. Yeah, for real. I mean, he got traded to Detroit, and then the trade got voided, and now he's playing for the Celtics. And the Celtics, they haven't been bad this season, but they really could use a boost in the front court. So maybe Bull Bull can actually help them out there. Maybe. I've also heard rumors they might trade away Marcus Smart, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Shubba said, what's the playlist on? YouTube. Sage said, how's the stream going? Just got Maurice Lucas. Nice. Congratulations. Stream's been good so far. Thank you for asking. Legendary said, imagine Taco on the Celtics. Bull Bull and Taco on the same team. Dude, it would be a dream come true if those two guys were still on the Celtics. But I think Taco got cut by the Cavaliers, which sucks. And Bull Bull, we'll have to see if he actually, you know, ends up getting meaningful minutes on the Celtics. Jeremiah said, hello, Doc. First time watching in a while. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. I've been seeing a lot of guys lately who are joining the stream who haven't watched since 2K21, which is okay. Welcome back. Malik says, I can't win a clutch time game for nothing. What's your lineup though, Malik? I could maybe give you a few lineup tips, but I really think um, winning in clutch time comes down to just locking up on defense, running the fast break, getting open threes, layups, dunks, and transition, you know, open lanes to the rim and the half court offense. I think it comes down to defense a lot, but yeah, let me know your team and maybe I can give you a tip or two. Trisha said three of them, just in case one isn't there that day. If you don't understand what I mean, read last. Man, I'll see a message from you. I'm gonna have to go back and actually read. Good shot, Dame. One second, it's not letting me scroll up. Maybe re resend your message, and I got you. I'm sorry I missed it the first time, though. Good move. Ah, bad release though. Gotta green that. Stefan said prediction for the finals matchup this year. Hmm. Fully healthy? I mean, the easy answer is the Warriors and the Nets, but the Suns have been great so far this season. I think they can make a serious run at the championship. And the Bucks? They've gotten better this year, even though they have been losing a little bit lately. I feel like their roster this year is more complete than it was last year, so... Yeah, I don't know. I mean... I think the Bucks have a shot at going back to the finals. I think the Nets have a serious shot. I think the Bulls even have a shot. Of course, the Bulls have been solid. The 76ers, even without Simmons, have stayed afloat. I mean, I feel like it's wide open this year, even though I just said the easy answer might be the Warriors and the Nets. Anything's possible. Also, Fralas10, or Fralas10. Let me know if I pronounced that right. Thank you for the sub. Shadow said, finally got Bailey Howell. Nice, level 33. He's pretty good too, Bailey Howell. My boy Landon says, I got Tony Parker with seven picks left. That's crazy. I wish I had that luck the other day. I went 10-0 for nothing. No Tony Parker. But I'm glad you got him for real, Landon. Hey, what up, Charlie? Welcome to the stream. What's up, brown boy? Julian says my clutch time team is AI, Dame, DeRozan, Bird, and Garnett. That's a solid team, but hmm, I'm not a huge fan of Larry Bird. I'd replace him. AI is great and Dame is great, but I would use one of those guys as a point guard. I wouldn't use them both together. And Garnett, he's a bit out of date in my opinion. Of course, if you badge him out, he can still be great, but I was just never the biggest fan of him offensively. Shawnee says, I'm a Knicks fan. Me too. Legendary said, I like how Maxi has worked on his three-point shooting. Is doing the 76ers good. Hey, Lynx272, thank you for the sub. Welcome to this community. Nah, you're right though, Legendary. Maxi, he's taking a huge jump. I mean, he's probably not going to win most improved player, but he's gone from like, what, like eight points per game up to about 15 points per game. He's been awesome as the starting guard for Philly. Seth Curry has had a great season. Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, even Andre Drummond has had some decent stretches off the bench. And yeah, Quark Maz, Danny Green. The Sixers got a solid squad. 
and Ben Simmons hasn't even played this year. So that's why the Sixers are trying to trade Ben Simmons for somebody who's actually going to play because the Sixers are not a bad team. They could actually make a decent playoff run if they can get some value for Ben Simmons, preferably a guard because Tobias Harris is great. I think they're set at that position. Embiid is great, so they're set at center. Maybe a better shooting guard, someone better than Danny Green. Seth Curry's great, but he's not really, you know, a big-time offensive star. If they can trade Simmons and Danny Green for something, maybe even Tobias Harris for something great, too, he, since he's a borderline all-star. The Sixers could have something special, in my opinion. Shift said, is Terry Cummings good? He looks really good. Jay Lark said, what's up, Doc? What's up, Jay Lark? Welcome to the stream. Good defense. Nice. Jeremiah said, clutch time team is John Wall, Iso Joe, Jalen Brown, Damar, and Ibaka. That's not a bad squad. Ain't great, but ain't bad either. Good shot, Dame. Woo! Out here missing wide open threes. I gotta make those. There we go. Charlie said, my favorite team is the Knicks, and I like Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin's a very likable player. I'm a Knicks fan, too. I've been a Knicks fan since I was in 8th grade. I'm 22 now. I've been a Knicks fan since I was 13. I'm loyal, but they've only made the playoffs twice since then. I'm very patient, though. Shawnee said the Sixers are trying to get a package trade with Simmons and Tobias Harris. Yeah, Tobias Harris, I understand that his fit might not be the best there. Personally, though, I think it's fine. He has a big contract, though, and so does Ben Simmons. So they're trying to move off those contracts and add players who actually have value. Even though Simmons and Harris do have value. Y'all know what I mean. NMG Gaming said, does everything transfer from current gen to next gen? As long as you're on the same console, yes. So current gen on Xbox transfers to next gen on Xbox and current gen on PlayStation goes to next gen on PlayStation. But if you're a current gen Xbox, it does not go to next gen PlayStation or vice versa. Jordan said, guess what? I got like five minutes after you ended the stream yesterday. Hmm, I'm gonna guess... Cassie Russell. Stefan said, how long are you streaming till? Streaming till we get Terry Cummings. Streaming till we get a thousand wins. I think we're at like 940 something right now, so we're making some decent progress. The Dark Knight said, how do you like Galaxy Opal DeMar DeRozan? I love that card. Um, I badged him out a little bit. I gave him Limitless Spot Up. I think I gave him Handles for Days too. I gave him some badges he was missing, and because of that, I really like him. His three-point jump shot's easy. His release is super chill. He's not a bad defender. All around, DeRozan's great, especially if you badge him out. Julian said, do I sell Spida with 28 Hall of Fame badges? Your decision. Your decision. I think he's going to start to get a lot cheaper soon, so maybe you should have sold him earlier this week. Charlie said, do you play on PlayStation 4? No, but I do have a PlayStation 5. Jordan said, Opal Maurice Lucas. That's a huge dub. I like him. Miami said, look at Doc, man. So inspirational. Good shot, Dame. Finally, we're starting to make some shots. Malik said, also got the pink diamond from Triple Threat. Nice. Reddit says, I swear these Triple Threat online boards are rigged. I haven't seen Cassie Russell yet this season. To be fair, though, I've only played like 15 games. Jordan said, do you think Joe Caldwell is a good card? If you evolve him to a pink diamond, yes. As a diamond, he's eh, he's not terrible, but he's not great. As a pink diamond, though, he really does end up being one of the best value shooting guards in the game. Hey, what's up, Ponus? Welcome to the stream. Do you have Yao Ming? No, but I'm getting him tomorrow. Dawson says, I can't get boards with Austin Crozier. Just play Triple Threat offline with Austin Crozier. Use Austin and two gold players and just 
Play the best defense you can. Grab the rebounds. Make sure Austin's your tallest player, though. Felipe said, did you see the WWE 2K22 trailer? I didn't see it, but I heard about it. I heard it's like really, really good. Or looks really good, at least. Dwayne Wade fan said, 94 games, no Kazi. Legendary said, how much is a membership? The cheapest membership is $2. The most expensive membership is $5. Legendary. And of course, the link is at the very top of the description. Joe said, what level now? I think 39. No, I'm kidding. 39. Des Bent said, did you get Reggie yet? Not yet. I've played over 100 games clutch time. I have Pascal Siakam, but I haven't gotten Reggie Lewis yet. The Shadow Snip said, gameplay is dead this year. I think it's better than it's been in years, but I know some guys who agree with you. Aryan said, can you help with my lineup? Uh, send it to me on Instagram. That's a very long message. Actually, no, that's just a clutch time lineup, so I can help. I thought you were sending me your entire lineup. Mike Miller, DeMar, Franz, Iverson, Mobley. That's a pretty solid lineup. I would replace Franz Wagner, though, with somebody. Maybe try out Serge Ibaka. Serge Ibaka at the power forward, Evan Mobley at the center could be pretty good for you. I like Iverson a lot, but maybe you could get a point guard as taller. Actually, I don't know. Iverson's great, so it's really your preference. But I think the first big thing you can do is slide DeRozan to the three. Get Franz out of there and pick up Ibaka. Because Ibaka's great. Troyaholic said, Doc! What's good, Troyaholic? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Coco Raz said, I never knew you can just quit after a win instead of waiting for the MT. Yeah, so right after the buzzer goes off, you can quit the game immediately and you can skip all the, you know, the MT adding up. It saves you a lot of time. Of course, I'm in no rush, but you can do the same thing in unlimited. You can do the same thing in limited, clutch time, triple threat online. You can just quit the game right after the buzzer goes off and you still get the reward. Hey, what up, Grady? Welcome to the stream. You got Maurice Lucas. I think he's better at the... Hmm. I think he's better at the center position, even though he's not super tall. At the power forward position, I prefer having a better offensive player. And Maurice Lucas, he's good offensively, but I prefer having him at the five to block shots, grab rebounds, even though he's not super tall. I think I like him better at the four, I mean the five, and I like having a better offensive player at the four. For me, my power forward is LeBron. Well, it might be Siakam now. I might move LeBron to the small forward. Greg said, what do you think of the Penny and Dial duo? I think it's pretty great. I mean, Penny Hardaway is already a pretty fun point guard, but man, he gets even better with the duo. And Boris Diaw, his jump shot is so fast. He's good defensively, pretty athletic. It's a pretty good duo, and both players are pretty cheap. Also, Spry Rant. Spry Rant. I hope I got that right. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation. Coco Raz said, I wish I knew that. Hey, now you know though, Coco. Now you know. Right after the buzzer goes off, you can just go ahead and quit. Splash Central said, what's good? Hit level 37 last night. That's awesome. Yeah, level 37 is a pretty good start to the season, considering there's over a month left. Troyaholic said, this music hits in the background. It really does. This music is good. Hey, what's up, Noah? I think I might have said hi to you already, but if I didn't, I'm sorry. Welcome to the stream, Noah. LJ says, I'm level 28. I've been stuck due to my new job, so I gotta grind over the weekend. I guess my girlfriend's gonna be upset. Man, balancing the time that you play 2K and streaming stuff with spending time with your girl, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, but we gotta find a way to do it, man. We gotta find a way, LJ. Felipe said, Penny's 100k. Is Penny really 100k? His price was pretty cheap, but maybe he is 100k again. I haven't checked his price in forever, but I wouldn't be surprised if his price did go up in large part because of that duo. 
Sphinx, the sweat said, what's the easiest way to level up? I mean, the only way to level up is by grinding XP challenges. This is not like Park or my career where you can literally just play games and level up from that. You gotta find a way to grind these XP challenges. So, of course, you gotta grind XP. I think the best way to do that is by stacking a bunch of challenges. You know, if you need points with one guy, get assist to that guy for XP. In the same game as that, get rebounds. In the same game as that, get steals. Like, stacking these XP challenges and doing as many of them in one game as you can, I think is the best way to go. So, if there's a player who needs assists and a player who needs points, go into Rookie Domination and do those challenges together. If there's a guy who needs rebounds, throw him in there. If there's a guy who, you know, you gotta play 20 minutes with for XP, throw him in there. And if you need to win with, let's say, three Ruby players or five Heat Jack players, just throw those guys on the bench. Be optimal with your XP grinding and do the absolute best you can to get as many challenges done at one time as you can. There's no real way to make the grind easier unless you save up MT to buy players who get new challenges. But yeah, those are my biggest tips right there for grinding XP because everybody does it differently. No two people do the exact same things in the exact same order. NMG says, I'm hoping I can get Yao on level 33, no showdown. And I'm new to my team, this is my first year. 33 already is a pretty impressive, especially considering this is your first year. That's really good. You should be able to get Yao. I mean, there's so much XP that 2k hasn't dropped yet. We get so much XP every Friday, you know, midway through the week on like Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We get so much XP as the season goes on, so you're gonna be fine, NMG. You got this. Jordan said, who's better, Andrea Bargnani or Chris Anderson? I like Chris Anderson better because he's better on defense. Andrea Bargnani's got the jumper. He's amazing on offense, but yeah, defensively, I think I'm taking the Birdman, Chris Anderson. It's good to have him back in my team, man. It's good to have him back in the game after a long hiatus. Not a brief hiatus. Let's snatch back. Knock down that three. Dawson said, how much XP do you think is going to come out tomorrow? I think easily over 20k. Because, I mean, remember. There are some... What am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say? You get so much XP for doing these challenges. Um, the Signature Series challenges... You get like 2,000 XP for scoring 500 points. You get, I think, 3,000 XP for scoring with Galaxy Opals. Like, over 2,000 XP for doing stuff with Pink Diamonds. A lot more XP for grabbing rebounds, getting assists. And of course, that's just with the new packs we got last week. So, I think we'll see over 20,000 XP in the new packs alone. We're also going to get Weekend Warrior Challenges, Daily Challenges, and stuff like that. Maybe even Moments Challenges, so we'll see. We'll see, but I think tomorrow's gonna be the day I get Yao. Hey, what's up, Hunted Bands? Welcome to the stream. Miami said, read last. One second, Miami. Let me scroll back up. For some reason, my chat's kind of glitching. Okay, it's better now. 24-hour stream at 24,000 subs? I can't promise that, but we are trying to get to 24,000 subs. We are super close. We're getting closer to 24,000 subs every day. We're actually less than 60 away right now, so... If there's anybody watching the stream who's new to my channel and hasn't subscribed yet... If you're enjoying the stream, make sure to subscribe. So we can get closer to our sub goal. We might not get there today, but... We'll get there soon. I'm confident in that. Let me scroll back down... And get back to reading these chats. OG Steven said, what's good, Doc? What's up, Steven? Welcome to the stream. Mike said, rate my starters 1 to 10. Mike Miller, Kemba, DeRozan, Worthy, Bargnani. That's a solid 7. A solid 7.5, I'd say. I like some of those guys. I like Mike Miller. I like DeRozan. Worthy's not bad. Bargnani's eh. And Kemba, I like him offensively, but he's a bit of a defensive liability in my mind, even though I like him a lot. Hey, welcome to the stream, Damar. Wiseman said, just got Pascal. I told you you would. 
I told you you would. Let's go ahead and win this thing right here with a leaner. There we go. Hey, what up, JK? Welcome to the stream. I'm pissed they traded away Cam Reddish. Man, my favorite team's the Knicks. So I'm not mad, but that is kind of a confusing move. I understand why the Hawks gave away Cam Reddish because they would have had to pay him a lot of money in the offseason. So I understand why they traded him, but they traded him for Kevin Knox. Hey, what's up, Zoid? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Cap? OG Steven said how many wins away from Scary Terry? 54, right? I'm pretty sure we're about 54 wins away. Have you seen Cassie Russell on the boards yet? No, I haven't. I'm like 15 and 1, 14 and 1. I really haven't played many games this season, so yeah, I haven't seen him yet. It's understandable why I haven't seen him because I've barely even had the chance to play Triple Threat online. I've been playing a lot of clutch time, man. Steve said Bailey Howell is a beast and so is the X-Man. Facts. I haven't used Xavier McDaniel, but on paper he looks amazing. I've seen some gameplay. He looks awesome. And yeah, he looks great. And of course, Kazzy Russell. I want him too. The Cum Bucket said, did you see Jokic's triple-double? Yes. And he had a really nice game-winning pass. He was double-teamed, cross-court pass. He drew the defense. Aaron Gordon knocked down the three. That was a big win for the Nuggets last night. The Nuggets needed that win. Hey, what's up, Anthony? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Anthony? What's up, Dovitas? Timothy said, since you're level 39... Do you think you have any other challenges to complete? Or would you rather just wait for tomorrow? I mean, there is stuff I can get done tonight. I said this earlier, Timothy, but I haven't played a single game of Unlimited this season. And I've only played 15 games in Triple Threat Online. So maybe tonight, once I get home from the gym, I can just sit back, relax, play some TTO. Maybe actually start playing Unlimited because I haven't done either of those things yet. So... I could do that tonight to get a little bit closer and make tomorrow a little bit easier for when I get Yao Ming, but I'm pretty confident we're going to get a lot of XP tomorrow. We're getting new packs, so we're going to get a lot of XP from the new packs alone, but we're also probably going to see some weekend warrior challenges too that will give, I want to say upwards of like 2,500, maybe 3,000 XP. We'll have to see for sure, but I'm pretty certain we're going to get a lot of XP tomorrow. I gotta stop shooting these bad shots. Let me actually take some smart shots because those last two shots were terrible. Hey, what up, King J? Welcome to the stream. What's up, King J? What's up, A Bay? And what's up, Adam? Terry Sussings. Yes. Terry Cummings. Wow, what the? How was that a contest? What? This man literally died in front of me. How is that a contest? How do you contest my shot? That makes no sense. Apparently this shot right here was like contested. This man literally hit the floor. He's still on the floor. How is that contested? It's no big deal. Legendary said, how do I become a channel member on mobile? On mobile? It's kind of weird. People always say when they click the link, it takes them just to my channel. On computer, it takes you to the membership page, but on phone, it's weird. There's no join button on the phone, I don't think, and yeah, I don't know, Legendary. Maybe if somebody sends the link in the chat, you can go and get, become a member from there. CB Wood said, how many wins you at right now? I guess we'll find out. 947, so 53 wins away from Cummings and three wins away from the Diamond Contract. Welcome to the stream, though, CB. What's up, Drew King? Vortex says, I love how you interact with your chat so much. Keep up the videos and the streams. I love the content. I appreciate that, Vortex. I do my absolute best to read every single message. Every now and then, a message will pass me by. I promise I'm not really ignoring you guys. I read every chat. I just can't read every single one out loud. Sitting here and talking through every single chat ain't easy, but 
Now, I appreciate you guys, and I always try to communicate as much as I can. Also, Aiden, thank you for the sub. Let me replay that alert right now. Thank you for the sub, Aiden. You guys follow his example and subscribe if you haven't already. 24,000 is the goal. Henrique said, another day, another doc stream. Yes, sir. It feels good to be back. I didn't stream yesterday. I took a little bit of a day off yesterday, but we're back again today. And we're also going to stream tomorrow because we're going to get Yao Ming tomorrow, most likely. Saturday, I'll drop a video. Sunday, I think I'll drop a Yao Ming video. And then Monday, I'll be back streaming again, depending on the content we get. Or maybe I can just chill and play some TTO because... I haven't done a TTO stream yet this season, and that's my favorite game mode, so I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta play some TTO sometime soon. Zoid said, who do you get for a thousand wins? Terry Cummings. And he's a six foot nine power forward center. I think 85 three point shot, 15 Hall of Fame badges. All around, pretty solid looking card. Abe said, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. It's a great day. Got some good food earlier, got to hang out with some of my boys, and I did a bunch of planning for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend in terms of my content, so I'm good. Anthony said, have you gotten the vault reward? Yes. So I actually got super lucky with the vault reward. Last Friday was the first day of the new season, so I was just playing around in every single game mode. Uh, triple Threat Online, uh, My Team Limited, clutch time I was playing every game mode I played like five games triple threat offline in my third game I got Xavier McDaniel that's the best I've done this season or the fastest I've gotten a vault reward so yeah I got super lucky with Xavier McDaniel Steve said Galaxy Opal Center coming tomorrow I think Wilt Chamberlain I mean we haven't seen Wilt Chamberlain since season one I mean, we did get a Ruby Wilt in Season 2, but Wilt is one of the 75 best players ever, and he hasn't gotten a new card in forever, so I'm thinking Flash tomorrow. I'm thinking Glitch Wilt Chamberlain with a three-point shot, because Bill Russell has a three-point shot. JK said, who are the top five players in the game, point guard through center? The top five players at every position, or the top five players at any of those positions, because... That's a pretty expansive list. Hunted Band says, I'm getting out-rebounded by the CPU, 10-2. to 2. It'd be like that, Hunted Bands. It'd be like that. The CPU's getting bailed. You're still gonna win, but... CPU's getting bailed. Enrique says, Could you do a video showing your defensive settings and explaining a little bit about the defensive meta this year? I mean... A lot of guys have asked the same question, you know, for me to do videos on defensive settings, but I don't really care too much about defensive settings. I'll do them here and there, but I only do my settings when the other guy I'm playing against does their settings. I think the most important thing on defense this year is just, man, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Pretty much everybody plays off-ball defense. I'd say that's a meta type thing, playing off-ball and you know, baiting passes. Some guys like to sit in the corner. And the biggest thing, in clutch time especially, is like full court pressing and, you know, playing off-ball defense, which I don't like, but I don't know. Off-ball defense is rewarding. As bad as that sounds. I try to play on-ball defense the best I can, but sometimes I play against guys who just paint mash the entire game. They spam pick and rolls. They zigzag and stuff. So, to a certain extent, you gotta combine off-ball and on-ball elements, like baiting passes, playing help defense. It's a lot to explain, so maybe I will actually make a video talking about my defensive principles, because I'm not doing a very good job explaining it right now. Turk says Wilt is top 10 easily. Yeah, I think Wilt's gonna get a new card soon. Maybe tomorrow is the day where Wilt finally gets a Galaxy Opal. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Jonathan? Abe said Wilt would be pretty dope on level 38 right now. 300 XP away from 39. Woo! You guys are going crazy grinding XP. And I thought I was doing well. I thought I was doing a good job grinding. But man, 
We got everybody in the chat. 38, 39, some guys 40. Man, you guys are killing it this season, for real. A Bay said clutch time is mad annoying. Exactly, man. I don't know how I was able to beat it so easily this season. It's just full court pressing, off ball defense, mashing, ugh, contested shots going in. Clutch time can be, it can be frustrating, but I kind of enjoy it. It's a love-hate relationship. Hey, what up, Jarrell? Welcome to the stream. Anthony says, I got lucky last year in 2K21. I got Pink Diamond Terry Dissinger on my third win. Dude, it took me 300 wins to get Dissinger and 800 to get Danny Ferry. Literally, everybody was grinding for those cards. It took DBG over 1,000 wins. That's crazy. Vortex said, there's a My Team update tomorrow. Well, not really an update, but we are getting new packs. We are getting new XP challenges, and that's pretty much it. New packs, new challenges, and also My Team Limited. You can get your second ring tomorrow. You bad said, how do you have fun playing Clutch Time? Well, like I said, man, it's a love-hate relationship. It really is love-hate. I mean, I like how fast-paced the game is. I like how you can just load into a game and be done in, like, four or five minutes, depending on if the other person quits. I like that. I like the fast pace. But when you play versus guys who really do sweat and full-court press and off-ball in the corner of the entire possession, it really does make things really frustrating. But if you're able to actually get stops versus the other team, uh, run the fast break, get a couple shots in the half-court offense, it can be pretty fun when the game's going your way. But, of course, when the game is not going your way, it can be super frustrating. And even when you are winning, it's just so annoying because the guy you play against is always doing annoying stuff too. So, love-hate, man. That's really all I can say. Love-hate. Hey, what up, Docs? Welcome back to the stream. Adam said you might be surprised, but MT Plug still didn't respond? What? MT Plug usually loves business. And I told him that to check out your message. I can hit him up again, though, because I was just talking to MT Plug earlier today. Come Bucket says, it took me one game for Danny Ferry. That is crazy. Not for real, though. I mean... That's one thing I don't like about RNG-based rewards. You can be, like, really bad at the game. I'm not saying you're bad at the game. But you can be really bad at the game, get lucky, and get a super good card like, you know, Pink Diamond Dissinger or Galaxy Opal Fairy after one game. But at the same time, you could be really good at the game. You can win every game you play, a thousand wins in a row, and still not get rewarded by Fairy. So RNG rewards, luck-based rewards, I'm not a huge fan of some of them, but it is kind of fun grinding for them on stream sometimes. You bad says I only hate it because the other team be getting bailed out. Oh no, you're 100% correct. I can show you clips right now of guys making like 50% contested shots against me. You know what? Let me pause this game and let me show you guys a few of my clutch time clips real quick because I completely agree with you. You're 100% correct. Here's a clutch time clip right here. I'll do some play-by-play -play commentary and you guys are gonna see what's wrong. So, I'm in the lead 16 to eight. This guy makes his free throws. No big deal. Nothing abnormal yet. Of course he's full court pressing because it's clutch time. Everybody full court presses. I run down the court with Baron Davis, drive to the rim, pass out to LeBron for three. And it's good. Nothing crazy going on just yet. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. One minute left. I lead by 10. Great defense. No way that goes in. <laughs> what the heck? Stuff like this goes in pretty regularly. Like, this is not really a special occasion. 41% contested. I'm right in his face. Doesn't matter. You guys are like, Doc, what? That's a one-time thing. Shots like that, there's no way they go in that often. But just wait. Just wait. Take a look at this. Hey, Trevor, thank you for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation. Enjoy this clip, Trevor. Right here, we're playing great defense. I'm right there with Kawhi. But he gets the dunk. No big deal. No big deal. He gets the dunk, and he's full court pressing, of course. I drive in, pass to DeRozan, knock down the three. So, 
Just like that, we're back in the lead. Now let's get a stop on defense. We're right there, guarding Magic. Great defense by Baron Davis. What's up with Baron Davis? And just getting lit up like that. And what's up with these guys who are just taking terrible shots in the half-court offense and getting rewarded for it? Like, this happens way too often. Why would you shoot a shot like that? And why'd it go in? I seriously don't get that, but it happens in clutch time. And yes, I feel like the sliders in clutch time are just, I don't know, there's something wrong with them. I don't think it's on rookie difficulty or anything like that, but why do those shots go in so often? It makes no sense. Or dollars. Hey, what's up, Afshin? Welcome to the stream. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's get back to our triple threat offline grind. Hunted Band said I would rage like those Warzone guys. When that stuff happens, I don't really rage, but I'm like, what? Okay, I didn't mean to shoot that, but nah, yeah. When that stuff happens, I'm just like, what? Why? Like, how do you get rewarded for that? My boy Sin City said, Mellow. Welcome to the stream, Sin City. Adam said, not joking. I would have started to yell. It's frustrating, man. Like, I don't get why shots like that go in so consistently. It just, like, come on. It's supposed to be on superstar difficulty, I'm pretty sure. Hey, what up, Raj Deep? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Key in the ignition said, makes no sense. Or dollars is the funniest quote. Yeah, I always have to pause. I'll be like, that makes no sense. Or dollars. All right, guys. 50 more wins. And we get Terry Cummings. Zoid said, do you have a streaming PC? I do have a gaming PC. Ben said, yo, what's good, Ben? Welcome to the stream. Steven said, I get beyond pissed when shots that are that contested go in. Same here, like, why? Hey, my boy Legendary is now a member of the Doc Nation member society. Hey, Legendary, that is a legendary move. Shout out to Legendary for subscribing. Not subscribing, buying the membership. That is a grown man's move right there from my boy. Now let's give that ball to Lillard. Greek Freak said, My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I still love watching Report of the Week. My disappointment's immeasurable. Hey, what up, Secret Pepper? Welcome to the stream. You Bad said, I always get mad when I play this game, so I deleted the game, and I feel good now. You Bad, I'm right there with you, man. Sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes it's just deleting 2K can be a good little mental health break. For me though, I make content on the game, so it ain't all that easy, but I'm glad you're doing better now because this game can be mad frustrating. I enjoy playing it and I love basketball, but my gosh, some of the stuff that goes on in this game, especially online, and especially with how toxic some dudes are online, you'd just be better off just chilling, not playing. I'm right there with you on that one. Legendary says, I finally figured it out. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Legendary. Thank you for the membership. Yeah, buying memberships on mobile is weird. Now, buying it on PC and, like, you know, your MacBook or your computer or whatever, it's, it's easier, but I don't know what's up with buying memberships on mobile. I don't get what's so wrong with it. Very late? What? Blazering Brad said, do you have Yao? We're going to get Yao tomorrow. Yao Ming, tomorrow. Let's go ahead and knock down a three. Greek Freak said, truly a pioneer of YouTube. One of my favorite YouTubers, Report of the Week. Kyle said, did you watch Clippers Nuggets last night? I did not, but I saw the ending. I saw the ending. It was crazy. Yeah, last night I was watching that Lakers game. Because, let's be honest, the Lakers can be pretty fun to watch, but, of course, they lost. 
Melly said, mark my words. I will become a member one day. I appreciate that. For real though, guys, if y'all can't become members, if y'all don't want to pay that money, I understand. All that matters to me is you guys just showing up to the stream and supporting the channel. You don't have to spend any money to be a big part of this channel. Hey, what up, Baylor? Welcome to the stream. I'm on the bus going back home, and I got a game today. Nothing but hype. Yes, sir, man. Game days. The hype's real. I miss game days. Those are the best feelings. Going to school, going home, and just chilling, taking a nap, watching TV, playing video games before you got your game at night. I miss that. And I wish you luck. Afshin said Jokic had 49 points and a triple-double. Yeah, Jokic went insane. Not only did Jokic go crazy, but Joel Embiid had 50 points last night. We've been seeing some insane games lately. I mean, Joel Embiid, 50 points yesterday. Mo Bamba, 7 threes, 28 points and one half. Devin Booker, 48 points versus the Spurs. And then Jokic had what, like a 47, 49 point triple-double. Insane performances from a lot of different players in the NBA right now. My boy Landon said, I'm going to snipe Opals for like four hours, so see ya, my guy. I'm going to be a ninja. Hey, do what you got to do, Landon. Go snipe those Opals. You can make some really good profit just by doing that. So, man, good luck to you. And any snipe you get, make sure to let us know in the chat. Post it on Twitter. Let me know. Adam said, remember when I was a member? You weren't a member for long, but I think I do remember that. My boy Adam. Good shot. Legendary said Embiid with the big 50. Huge 50 points. Embiid has been amazing this season. Honestly, just as good, if not better than he was last season, even though his numbers aren't the same. Just still, just really good performances. His jump shot is just so consistent, especially for mid-range. He can knock down the three. Great rebounding, great defense. He scores 30 points pretty much every single night, it feels like. And he's been pretty durable too. Not many injuries for Joel Embiid yet this season. Hey, what's up, Nikanor? Welcome to the stream. How have you been? I'm not sure if you remember me. I do, but I haven't seen that name in a long time. Welcome back to the stream. And... Hey, I'm glad you got 2K while it was on sale. It's good to have you back. And also, Drew King, thank you for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation. I was talking, so let me go ahead and replay that message real quick. There we go. Thank you for the sub, Drew. You guys follow Drew's example. And subscribe if you haven't already. My boy Dallas said Embiid had 47 points going into the fourth. Facts, facts, remember. He played like a couple minutes in the fourth quarter. He played 27 minutes overall. This man Embiid scored 50 in 27 minutes. Imagine if he played 60 minutes. Also, Brad, thank you for the sub. Shout out to you for following Drew's example. You guys are awesome. Shout out to everybody who's subbed so far this stream. And good shot. Hey, what's up, Rezix? Welcome to the stream. Trey says, what level are you? 39. You bad said the game is so horrible. I lost to a guy who made a 70% contested shot on a 6 foot 10 center with takeover for the win. Of course he got toxic, you bad. I swear, even when guys get bailed and win, like even when they're making contested shots all game, you know, mashing and getting dumb contests, offensive rebounds, they still talk so much trash after the game it makes no sense. Hey, what's up, The Sleeper? Welcome to the stream. Sam said, Suns versus Warriors, seven game series. Who you got? Hmm, Sam. So far this season, in their head to head matchups, the Warriors have been better than the Suns. But the Warriors lately, they haven't been looking as strong because Curry hasn't been as good. He's still been solid. Like, he's still in the MVP race for sure, but. His shooting splits are probably some of the worst of his career. Clay Thompson, he's trying to find his groove. Wiggins has been pretty consistent. They've been struggling without Draymond, so 
getting Draymond back 100%, playing well, running the offense, playing defense will really help. I gotta go with the Warriors in seven right now, but the Suns have been looking great lately. I'm not sure how many of you guys have been watching the Suns, but Booker's been absolutely on a tear lately. He's had a few bad games, but man, he's been putting up some big numbers lately. He's gonna be an all-star again, I'm thinking. CP3's been consistent. DeAndre Ayton, Jay Crowder, Mikael Bridges, all those guys. I'm looking forward to seeing guys like Cam Johnson take a jump because we've seen Jalen Smith take a jump for the Suns. JaVale McGee's been solid and all around the Suns got a nice squad. I mean, I really think when it comes down to playoff time, they could go back to the finals, but of course we'll have to see when we're actually there. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Park with friends is so much fun. It really is, man. Park with randoms? I would not recommend it. Park with friends, though, that's therapeutic stuff, man. Even when you lose, you can still have fun with it and still just, you know, laugh with each other, enjoy your time playing. I'm with you on that one. Jack said Curry, Clay, Draymond haven't all played together yet, and that's something a lot of people forget. The Warriors, they've been looking kind of bad lately. Curry has not been the best lately, but they've been having to, you know, get adjusted without Draymond. Jordan Poole is adjusting to coming off the bench. The Warriors are going to be all right. They're going to be all right once they get all those guys on the same page. Yeah, man, the Suns are going to be great in the playoffs. The Warriors are going to be fine. A lot of guys, though, are sleeping on the Jazz and the Grizzlies. The Jazz have been kind of bad lately, so I get why guys are sleeping on the Jazz. But the Grizzlies, they've been on an absolute tear lately. And they might really end the season as number three in the West. They might even move up to number two if they keep on winning the way they are and the Warriors keep on losing. Hey, what up, Oakland Steph? I'm doing great. Hope you're doing all right as well, man. You bad said, if I put bad players on my team, do I go against other bad cards? In triple threat offline, yes. If you use one really good shooter and one no, or two like gold players who aren't very good, you match up versus two gold players on the other team. Yes. Hey, what up, p Dog? Welcome to the stream. Daniel says, I did not have school today, so I grinded XP. Now I'm level 21. No, 31. 31 is solid. I mean, don't forget, Daniel, the season just started. Sinpa said predictions for the Heat in the playoffs. The Heat have been on fire lately. Um... Man, it's good to have Bam at a bio back. It's good seeing so many of their guys back healthy, like Deadman too. Of course, Tyler Hero's been having an awesome season. Kyle Lowry's been solid. Yeah, the Heat are a fun team, man. And if they're 100% healthy, they can really beat anybody in a seven-game series. I don't think they will beat anybody. I think everybody 100% healthy. The Nets are going to come out the West. I mean, the East. But, nah, the Nets have a shot at it. The Heat have a shot, the Bulls have a shot, the Bucks have a shot. Even teams like the Sixers, in my opinion, are kinda sleepers. Muhammad said Brooklyn almost lost to the Wizards. True, but they didn't. They didn't. Kyrie had an awesome game, and LaMarcus Aldridge was also huge off the bench. Keep in mind, Kevin Durant, he's out for like six weeks. So, he should be good in time for the playoffs. People are sleeping on Desmond Bain. The Grizzlies have so many players who are just underrated and kind of forgotten about, you know? Desmond Bain is averaging like, what, 16, 17 points per game? After averaging less than 10 as a rookie, he's shooting great from three, knocking down shots consistently with confidence. Yeah, he's been awesome. Steven Adams has also been huge for the Grizzlies. Like, he's been a huge pickup for them. And he fits even better than Valanchunas did. Jaron Jackson, pretty underrated. Really good defensive player who's starting to find a groove on offense. John Morant, playing like a all-star. He better be an all-star this season. And then, of course, I haven't even mentioned Dylan Brooks, Brandon Clark. I want to say DeAnthony Melton, but he hasn't been playing as much lately. The Grizzlies have a whole lot of talent. And they're one of the most promising young teams in the league. Grizzlies got a whole lot of talent. Muhammad said Lamar, 
miss two layups in a row versus Cavs. Lamar Stevens? He's on the Cavs, I thought. Jensen says, I'm so close to Yao Ming. Both of us. Me too. Taking my talents to South Beach said, I'm locking in for Antoine Jameson. I can't miss out on 14,000 XP with one player. With Antoine Jameson, isn't that 3,000 XP? 4,000 XP? I don't think it's 14,000, but I know if you get Jameson, you get a lot of XP just for like scoring points with him or something. Plus, if you're actually able to snipe those signatures, it's not going to take too much MT to get Jameson, who's really good, by the way. Adam said 7,000. 7,000? Okay, so it's not 14,000, but I didn't even think it was 7,000. That's crazy. So you get 7,000 XP just by getting Jameson and scoring points with him. That's, that's pretty good. Hey, what's up, Kim? Welcome to the stream. Muhammad said, oh, Lamarcus. Lamarcus, got you. You said Lamar, so I thought you were talking about Lamar Stevens. Rezik says, I just quit, quit matchmaking in clutch time, and it gave me a loss. That's something that happens randomly to me too, Rezix. If you just sit there without getting a game, and your menu keeps on flashing like white and blue every few seconds, every now and then, it gives you a loss for no reason. The same things happen to me, and it's just, it's really annoying. Kai said, I got Danny Granger. Do I go for Siakam? I think getting Siakam is easier than getting Danny Granger. So, yeah, why not? P Dog said, Cade Cunningham for Rookie of the Year. I think Cade Cunningham is a top three rookie, but as of right now, Rookie of the Year has to be Evan Mobley. I'm not sure how many of you guys watch Cleveland, but his rotations on defense, his reads are awesome. Offensively, he's solid too. He's one of the best defensive players in the league already as a rookie, which is crazy. And the way he rotates, the effort he gives, the way he rebounds, the way he can dribble, score, shoot. As of right now, he's rookie of the year. Right behind him, I think it's Scotty Barnes at number two. He's been in a little bit of a shooting slump lately, but the effort that he gives is also amazing. He gives some amazing effort, and he's a lot of fun to watch. Number three, I got Cade Cunningham. Number four has got to be Franz Wagner, I think. And then, who's number five? I'm trying to think of good rookies. Josh Giddey's been awesome. I don't think he's going to win Rookie of the Year, but he's been great. I'd say he's top five. And then, of course, I'm trying to think of other good rookies this year. Jalen Green ain't bad, but he hasn't been putting up numbers like that. His efficiency hasn't been great. You guys let me know what y'all think. Kai said, I currently have 25 wins in clutch time. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Keep it up. Bad shot. What am I doing? I'm out here taking terrible shots. Nikanor said, Ayo. Ayo had a huge game yesterday for the Bulls off the bench. I want to say he had like 20 points. I can't remember the exact stat line, but he put up a pretty good game last night. And he has so much potential, repping Chicago. All right, now let's finally score. Offsheen said, how about Tate? Jashon Tate, he's not a rookie. Brad said, where's my Ontario people at? Hey, shout out to all the Canadians in the chat. Greek Freak says, I really like Evan Mobley. So do I. I mean, he's a likable player. He's a likable player. I mean, players who hustle, who can also score, who can also grab rebounds, and just, like, make all the right reads on defense. They're very fun players to watch. My boy Adam said here, yes, sir. Adam, Riyadh, Muhammad said Toronto's doing great. Toronto got off to a slow start this season, but they really have been picking up steam lately. It's been fun to watch the Raptors go to work. Yeah, DeMar DeRozan too, of course. Shout out to the Raptors. 
I think they're going to make the playoffs. And even if they don't, they have a bright future. I mean, Siakam has been awesome. Big bounce back season. Scotty Barnes, really good rookie season. Van Fleet better be an all-star too. I swear, Fred Van Fleet better be an all-star. Gary Trent is a great closer. Even guys like Kem Birch, I can't say I don't like. Astronomy said, what do you think of Denny Avdia? He's been good this season. I don't watch much of the Wizards, but off the bench, he's become like a pretty decent playmaker. He has the ball in his hands a lot more. He's not just a spot-up shooter, and I like that a lot. Riyadh said, Luka effed us yesterday. Yeah, Luka Doncic went crazy. He's on my fantasy team. He had like 41 points, 14 rebounds, 7 assists. And the Mavericks, they've been winning a little bit more lately. Like, 10 out of 13, I think. Mavericks on fire. Mamba says, I'm still here. I just won't be talking because I'm playing Triple Threat offline. Hey, so you're grinding too. It's not just me, Mamba. Lock in. You got this. Adam said, Ken Birch is a great center. I like Ken Birch. I mean, he's not super flashy, but he's a guy who just, you know, rolls to the rim, can make open layups and dunks and whatnot. He can rebound. He'll play good defense. I like Ken Birch. He's way better than Freddie Gillespie. He played for the Raptors last year, and my gosh. He can barely even make an open layup. Brad said Scotty Barnes is going to keep on getting better and better. I agree. I mean, Scotty Barnes is already a high motor player. Like, he's already a guy who puts everything on the line and plays great defense. And his offensive game is slowly improving. His three-point shot is not super consistent, but... He shoots it with confidence, and he can knock him down regularly. He's just got to work on his mechanics a little bit. You know, keep on getting better off the dribble. He's already an excellent finisher, great athlete. The biggest thing for him is just polishing his offensive game, but his defense is already great. All around, I mean, he's already a solid player. And that's why I understand you guys who think he could win Rookie of the Year. Candace Parker said, yo, Doc, what's up, Candace? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is going to be a good stream. It's already been pretty good, but we ain't done yet. It ain't over yet. We still got some work to do. We still have about, is it 40-something more games to win? We still got some work to do, but we have time to get it done. Jensen said, Joel Embiid 50. No one's going to talk about it. I talked about that for like five minutes earlier. Harry said, who's your all-star surprise pick? I don't think this is really a surprise, but Darius Garland from the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers deserve at least one all-star for how well they've played this year. And Garland is averaging like 20 points per game, eight assists per game. Yeah, it's got to be Garland in my opinion. I don't think that's really a surprise. But he's a third-year player who's never been an all-star, so it kind of is a surprise. Riyadh said Van Fleet needs a moments card. He'll get a good card eventually. Maybe he'll get a moments of the month card in February. Good shot, Dame. Cameron says I think Jarrett Allen should make it. Jarrett Allen could make it. I mean, in the Eastern Conference, when I think of all-star centers, there's Bam Adebayo, but he hasn't really played much because he's been injured. There's Nikola Vucevic, who's also missed a decent amount of time, but I don't think he's going to be an all-star, even though the Bulls have a great record. I don't think it's going to be Vucevic. And yeah, you look around the Eastern Conference, you look at teams like the Celtics, the Knicks, Raptors, the Nets, who don't have all-star centers, and you start to realize that Jarrett Allen really is one of the elite centers in the Eastern Conference, at least this season. Like, I would take Jarrett Allen this season over Clint Capella this season. I would take him over a bunch of centers in the East this season. Washington, they don't have an all-star center. The Hornets, they don't have an all-star center. You look around all these teams in the league, you look at the Bucks, you look at the Pistons, 
you look at all the teams in the Eastern Conference and you start to realize that Jared Allen's been pretty insane this season. One of the best centers in the East, so maybe him and Garland might end up being all-star reserves. Chris GC said, I think Fred Van Fleet and Pascal can make the all-star game. I think so too. Pascal though, he missed a lot of time at the beginning of the season, so if he's not an all-star, I understand, but he's having easily the second best season of his career. Greek Freak said Embiid, exactly, yeah. After Joel Embiid, you can't think of too many all-star caliber centers in the East. There's Embiid, there's Vucevic, who could make it. I'm not sure if he will, but he could. There's Embiid, there's Vucevic, and then the third man might be Jared Allen. And honestly, I think it's the same thing with point guards. In the Eastern Conference, there are some really, really good point guards. I mean, Trey Young, he's going to be an all-star for sure, I think. Ben Simmons, he's an all-star caliber guard, but, I mean, he hasn't even played this season. And Kyrie is also an all-star caliber guard, but he's also barely played this season. So, I don't think either of those guys are going to be all-stars. So, the question is, what guards step up? and take those all-star spots from Simmons and Kyrie. It could be LaMelo Ball. He's been awesome. It could be Darius Garland. He's been great too. It could be Fred Van Fleet. Van Fleet and those other two guys, in my opinion, both deserve it. So, yeah, we're just going to have to see what players end up making the game. Because right now, it's kind of up in the air. Hey, what up, I Can't Sell? Welcome to the stream. Daniel says, I'm so excited for the All-Star game and the playoffs. Same. I always look forward to the playoffs. All-Star game? I look forward to seeing who's going to make it, but... Man. Up until these last couple years, I haven't really looked forward to the All-Star game because... It's just like a shootout. No defense. These last couple seasons, though, it's been way more competitive, which I like. Hey, what's up, Active? Welcome to the stream. Rezix said, is the grind for Manu Ginobili worth it? I think Manu's nice, but I don't think grinding just for Manu's worth it. If you want the tokens that come with Manu, if you want the packs that come with them, I think those things are what makes the grind worth it. But Manu himself is not that great, in my opinion, even though I like him. He's just not a top tier shooting guard. Hey, what's up, Noah? What's up, Ben? Ben, I'm doing great. Hope you're doing all right as well. Chris said Van Fleet is one of the best shooters in the league right now. I agree. I mean, Van Fleet, not only is he one of the best shooters in the league, he's one of the best defensive point guards in the league this season. If you've been watching the, the Raptors, you know that he clamps up. He really locks in and gives so much energy on defense, which is crazy because he has to give just as much energy on offense too, so... The fact that he's so locked in on both ends is what makes him an all-star this year, in my opinion. And the Raptors have been way better than expected, and he's been the leader of the Raptors the entire year. You could say Siakam's the leader, but of course he's missed a lot of time this season. It's not Scotty Barnes, he's not the leader of the team. It's definitely not, you know, Kem Birch. There is OG Ananobi, there's Gary Trent Jr. They have some great talent, but... Van Fleet the entire season has really been their leader, no question about it. And the reason why they're so successful, a lot of it's because of him. Trey said, who do you think is going to make the Super Bowl? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Bucks versus Chiefs again. I wouldn't be surprised. What do you guys think of who's going to make the Super Bowl? I would love to see the Rams make a deep Super Bowl run, a deep playoff run, I mean. But I don't know. We'll have to see. KP said, how long do you think it's going to take me to get Kazzy Russell? Getting Kazzy Russell is 100% luck. So, yeah, I have no idea how long it's going to take you. It's different for everybody, sadly. Drew King said, Rams versus Chiefs. That's what it might end up being. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Buccaneers again, though. Muhammad said, the Bills are doing great. Yeah, the Bills... Maybe they win this next weekend. Maybe they take the Chiefs down because, man, last year, they couldn't pull it off. Legendary said, I want to see the Titans make it. Especially with Derrick Henry back healthy. 
I wouldn't mind seeing the Titans make it either. Chris said Van Fleet never had the chance because of Lowry. Yeah, Van Fleet, he was not the first option with Lowry on the team. Even though we all knew he was capable because of how good he is offensively. Rezik says, are there any methods for the clutch time wheel? No methods. 100% luck. I wish there was a method, but yeah, there's no real method out there. Hey, what's up, Adam? Welcome to the stream. Greek Freak said, read last. I got you, Greek. One second. Greek Freak said, just 1,500 MT every time. 10 boards without Kazzy Russell? What? My gosh. The luck that some of you guys have is just... I can't even fathom how bad it is. 2K's gotta stop hoeing y'all now. Hey, what's up, Lil Vel? Welcome to the stream. Ben said, did you do the heat check challenges? Yes. Hey, what's up, Lil Velk? Welcome back. Rezik says, have you gotten Reggie Lewis yet? No. Active said, HTB says there's a method. I disagree. Jonathan said, Stafford is not beating Rodgers. Yeah, I was going to say, the Packers, can't forget about them. I didn't even mention them. But to be fair, neither did y'all until now. Read last, you buffoon. Fuck you. Jeff Gaming said, I played like 15 boards last season and didn't see one player. Man, it took me so long to see the Pink Diamond player last season. It was, it was Keith Van Horn. It took me over 100 games to see him. Like, what the hell? And the season before that, it took me like over 200 games to see Rod Strickland. Like, I don't get why the odds are so terrible sometimes. It makes no sense. Four dollars. Yeah, the odds are terrible. So, Greek Freak, I'm not surprised you've played all those games and haven't seen a thing. Trey said, I got Kazzy Russell in under 50 games. I mean, I've only played like 15 games, so there is a chance I can get him. There's a chance I can get him in less than 50 games too, but like I said, last season, it took me forever to get Van Horn. The season before, it took me forever to get Rod Strickland, so like, what the heck? I wouldn't be surprised if this is just a trend where it keeps on taking me forever to get each reward. This is a mismatch too, by the way. Dan Loki. Welcome to the stream, my brother. Muhammad said, James Harden is strong. Being hit in the head hurts. You're not wrong. It does. Hey, good luck. Adam said, Siakam is always better as the second option. For example, in 2019, when they won the championship, Siakam was great as the second scoring option. Yeah, Siakam was awesome in that series. Of course, Kawhi Leonard won finals MVP, but people forget he wasn't that good in that series. Van Fleet was huge. Siakam was huge. Kawhi played well, but he wasn't like head and shoulders above everybody else on his team in that series. Yeah, Siakam was good as a second option that year. He's been good as a second option this year too, so... I agree with Adam. I definitely agree with Adam. Ender Slayer said, Ibaka, stay missing wide open shots for me. You gotta get used to that jump shot. Ibaka's got a pretty fast release. He's got good shooting badges. He's a good offensive player, but his jumper, you do have to get adjusted to it a little bit. Adam said, what do you think of Clay Thompson's performance? He had 21 points the other day. He's slowly, slowly beginning to pick up steam, find his groove. He's getting better and better, which is great because the Warriors, they need Clay to be 100% or, you know, like 90%, 85% of what he used to be if they're going to run through the playoffs. Trey said the NFL has the worst kickers. I understand the wind and stuff, but they should know how to adjust. I mean... They are pros, Trey, so you're not wrong. They're supposed to be great at this. 
Muhammad said the Levine injury hurts the Bulls. Yeah, Levine is injured right now. That hurts the Bulls. Kevin Durant is injured right now. That hurts the Nets. We're seeing injuries all around the league. Anthony Davis, hopefully he comes back strong. That's hurting LA. Of course, Kawhi and PG are both hurt. Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray. Injuries, they're a part of the game. But with that being said, it's a really crappy part of the game that you just wish didn't exist. Ender Slayer says he misses full whites. Yeah, Ibaka, I'm not too bad at greening his shot, but I've noticed whenever I don't green it, there's, you just don't know if the shot's going to go in. There's a great chance it doesn't. Ibaka's shot is a pretty big adjustment, but I was pretty good with his amethyst earlier in the year. Greek Freak said DeMar is carrying right now. DeMar and Nikola Vucevic. Those guys are great. And the Bulls got a pretty good record. Pretty good is an understatement. They're still number one in the East, I'm pretty sure. Ah, good defense. Good rebound, though. What badges would you put on DeRozan? Um, limitless spot up. Handles for days. There's a few more I added to them, but I can't remember what they are. Hunted Band said Lonzo too. Fact, yeah, Lonzo and Levine missing sucks. Lonzo is supposed to be out like six weeks, I saw. Abysmal says I'm level 38. Do you think I will get Yao? Hmm. Should I say no? That's a good question. Melly said a Bulls for the chip that year. Maybe this year if they can get fully healthy again. Then again, at full strength, I don't think anybody can beat Brooklyn. Maybe the Bucks can. Maybe. God, these CPUs, they ain't giving me any space. Very early. I was trying to pump fake and pass right there. And now they're about to score on me. Or not. Rezix says what badges for Kawhi. Also, a Limitless spot up. I notice a lot of these cards are missing Limitless. That's a pretty important one for Kawhi and DeRozan. Is Terry worth the grind? I don't know. Daniel said that Zach Levine dude. He's pretty good. The Bulls are pretty good too. Lachlan says what level are you on? Uh, 39. Level 39. So we're going to get Yao tomorrow. We're going to get Terry Cummings today. And the other day we got Pascal Siakam. So we've really been doing our thing. Grinding for these rewards this season. We've been on fire. Adam said this dude Riyad is spamming the same message. I didn't even notice. I must have been missing his message. I apologize for that. Good shot. I broke this man's ankles and still missed the shot. How much XP? I think we need, I think, 18,000 more XP. I've barely played any unlimited. I've played one game limited. I think I've played like 15 games triple threat online. So yeah, I've barely even played online except for clutch time. I love clutch time. Hey, what up, Kyler? Welcome back. I guess real quick, I'll check. How many triple threat games have I played? I guess we'll take a look right now. Yeah, we've played exactly 15 games. We're 14 and 1, which, eh, not a bad record. I'll play a few games tonight to get a few more XP. A little more XP. I can't talk. Rezik says I'm level 30. Do you think I can get Yao? Depends on how much time you put in. There's going to be more than enough XP, so if you can put in the time to grind XP, you'll be fine. Jay Show said limited. Yeah, tomorrow I can start playing limited again. I've played one game this season, and I got the ring, so we'll take it. Doc says I literally just got Maurice Lucas. That's awesome. 
Maurice Lucas is a beast. One of the best defensive players in the game. Maybe the best defensive player in the game. The limited challenge glitched out and didn't give me Earl. Damn. All you have to do is win the game. So I don't know why it didn't give you Earl Boykins. <sighs> It'd be like that sometimes, Jay Show. Are you going to play the game again? Let's swing that ball. Nice. Dwayne Wade fan said, X-Man is goaded. Just got him today. Facts. X-Man is a beast. Have you gotten Maurice Lucas? Yes. Splash Central says, if I hit level 40, I can do beyond level 40. So I'm debating on whether or not to do limited. Hmm. So here's the thing. If I miss out on someone like... Last season, it was Cliff Hagen, for example. This season, it might be one of those triple threat rewards. If you miss out on any of those players, you can do beyond 40 for those guys. Limited, though? I can get the rings every week pretty easily, so I'm not going to skip out on grinding limited when I could skip out on grinding something else. That's not a sure thing, if that makes sense. Mikey said, how rare is Reggie Lucas? Reggie Lewis, I really want him. He's super rare. I won 100 games. I got Pascal Siakam, and I still haven't gotten Reggie Lewis yet. So, yeah, 100% luck-based. Splash Bros said, what's up, Doc? What's up, Splash Bros? Welcome to the stream. And I hope you had a good day at school. Jay Show said, I got the endless loading screen after the game. I'll make my son play it later. Good practice for your son. Good practice for him. He'll get it done for you. NMG Gaming said, how does Limited work? I've never played it. So my team Limited is pretty cool. Um... Instead of using any team you want to of all Galaxy Opals, Pink Diamonds, Diamonds, you can use any requirements you want to. Well, no, any requirements that 2K gives you. So if you can only use like two Diamonds in a week, two Amethysts in a week, two Rubies, I basically they'll give you requirements of what players you can use. And you go online and play versus other people who can also only use those requirements. So... This week it's interesting. We can only use point guards who are below 6'1, centers below 7 feet, forwards below 6 foot 9, which is interesting. In the past, we can only use players with like a 75 dunk rating. We can only use players with like a 73 point rating. We've gotten some interesting limited requirements before, so yeah. Same thing this week. Good shot, Dame. Rambo said it took me 260 wins to get Reggie Lewis. That's crazy. That really is crazy, man. Like I said earlier, I've played 100 games. Haven't gotten Reggie Lewis yet. Adam said last season, those Glenn Robinson challenges didn't work. I followed requirements, never worked. That's so weird. That is very weird. That's not how it should be. In that offline challenge, at least. Hmm, good defense by Walter Davis. Ah, I gotta make that. Chris GC said just at level 33. Nice. 33 is good, especially at this point in the season. Adam said shooting guards need to be below six foot one. Yes, so every guard you have has to be below six foot one. No, no, six foot one or below. So you can use Rondo, Iverson, uh, Trey Young, Kemba Walker. There are still some very good guards you can use this week. So yeah, Kemba, Iverson. That's probably going to be my point guard and shooting guard. Your center has to be below seven feet. Your forwards have to be below six foot nine, both of them, which really is not very hard, honestly. 
Hunted Band said, let's put PJ Tucker at the center. That's so funny that he can play the center, his Ruby card. I mean, I understand it. Like, he plays a lot of center, but it's so funny that he's a Ruby, six foot five, playing the center. Hey, what's up, Trigger Trey? Welcome to the stream. Large Fry said, Patty Mills. Yeah, Patty Mills, six feet tall, so you can use him too. Patty Mills, Trey Young, the list goes on and on. Chris said, is Bailey Howell good? Yes. Adam said, I'm using Iverson. Yeah, I'm going to use Iverson too. Iverson, Kemba. I might even try Rondo off the bench because I never use Rondo. So this gives me an excuse to use him for the first time ever. Official channel says, can you show your lineup for limited? I haven't made it yet. Maybe after I get um, Terry Cummings, I'll make that lineup. But so far, I don't have a lineup yet. A Simba. XO Simba, thank you for the sub. And welcome to Doc Nation. We're less than 40 wins away from 1,000. So let's keep on grinding through these games. We've been live for about two hours now. We're going at a pretty good pace. Tom said, is it possible to get level 40 without having any access to the auction house? Yes. But, but, you're going to really have to, like, open packs, play all the offline and online games you can. You're going to need some good pack luck. It's possible. I've seen people do it, but you're going to need some luck in your favor. And you're really going to have to save up MT and VC and use it on packs. Zoe said, who do I pick up and run at the center position? Hmm. Sir, have you tried Serge Ibaka? Because I've heard he's pretty good. There's also the new Andrea Bargnani. I've used him a little bit. He can shoot. Who do you guys think is a good center? Zoe should pick up. Evan Mobley too. Evan Mobley's great. Wang Zhizhi, still really good. The list goes on and on. What's up, Double Chin Sarah? Welcome to the stream. Hunted Band says I'm Dutch as well. And I got Iverson last season. I'm telling you, it's not impossible, but it's going to take some luck for sure. Hey, what's up, Near Many? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Bye Greedy? Welcome to the stream as well. Jensen said, Surge doesn't have Hall of Fame rebound chaser. That's okay. Just because he doesn't have one Hall of Fame badge doesn't mean he's bad. Daniel said, the new Chris Anderson's good. The new Chris Anderson's really good. I didn't think he'd be such a good shooter, but he has an easy release, pretty good base, and of course, great defense. Gotta block that. Hayden said, yo, Doc, my bad. Couldn't make the last stream. Congrats on 24K in advance. I appreciate that. I don't know if we're going to hit 24,000 subs this stream, but definitely by the end of the weekend with the way the channel's been growing and with the way you guys have been supporting. So we'll see if we can get there today. If not, though, I'm not upset. Our big goal this stream is 1,000 wins. Hey, what's up, Official Don? What's up, Zach? Zoe said, got all of them. I'll try them out and see how it goes. Yeah, those are some very good budget centers, but also, Zoe, I think we're going to get a new center tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're going to see Opal Wilt Chamberlain, but I'm not 100% sure. It's just a guess. I think we're going to see a really good center tomorrow because Yao Ming's available now, but we'll have to see. Trey said Surge still has hella good defense. Yes, he does. Yeah, Serge Ibaka is one of the best defensive bigs in the game. Just because he doesn't have one badge on Hall of Fame, I don't think that ruins his card. That's just my opinion, though. Maybe it does. Rezik said Zion is a buyout now. For real? Honestly, I'm not surprised. Because that Opal Zion is not very good, but that's interesting. By now, Galaxy Opals 
already. Dwayne Wade fan said, just saw Kazi Russell on my 99th game. Woo! Right before 100. That's clutch. Monsi said, I think there's going to be a Galaxy Opal Ewing. I mean, there will eventually, but definitely not tomorrow. Definitely not tomorrow, but we will eventually, inevitably, see Patrick Ewing as a Galaxy Opal. But yeah, not tomorrow, I don't think. Hey, what up, Troyaholic? Welcome back, my brother. Trey said, I think it's NBA 75 packs or something else. I mean, the packs tomorrow are going to have NBA 75 players, but I don't think they're going to be NBA 75 packs. Personally, I'm thinking Flash. I'm feeling Flash tomorrow. We haven't gotten Flash in a long time. We haven't gotten a good Wilt Chamberlain in a long time. We're going to be getting at least, you know, one or two Opals tomorrow. I'm thinking, since we have a Bill Russell, who's a really good shooter, we're also going to get a Wilt Chamberlain, who's a really good shooter. So, I'm thinking Flash tomorrow, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I can live with that. Gotta make that. Hey, what's up, Kivance? Welcome to the stream. Give me that. Gotta get the rebound. But yeah, I could be wrong, but we'll see. Maybe tomorrow we get a glitch Wilt Chamberlain. We also get a glitch Derrick Rose. Actually, we already have a glitch Derrick Rose, don't we? No, we have a flash Derrick Rose. So if we do get flash, probably not Derrick Rose. Maybe Oscar Robertson will be the flash card. Wilt will be the glitch card. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I could very well be wrong about all this. Lachlan said, who's your best card? I have a bunch of Galaxy Opals, but I think my favorite card I have is Pink Diamond Kawhi Leonard. I have Pascal Siakam. He's great. I have Maurice Lucas, LeBron James, Galaxy Opals, Baron Davis. I have good Opals, but my personal favorite's Kawhi. He's my favorite card right now and favorite Pink Diamond right now. Hey, what up, Ash Mail? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Blarney? What's up, Ash? Ash said, how's it going today? I'm doing great, Ash. I'm doing great. Stream's off to a good start. We're going to hit 1,000 wins today. And we're going to be done grinding Triple Threat offline until we get a brand new Vault player. So I'm chilling. It's been a good day. It's been a good stream. And it's good to have you back in the house as well. Hayden said, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl this year? Hey, man, I would love to see the Rams win it too, but I'm thinking the Chiefs bounce back. That's what I'm thinking. Los Santos said, how many wins you got right now? Um, 960-something. We're about to see the exact number, but yeah, 960-something. All right. 964, so... 36 wins to go. That should take us just around two hours. A little over two hours. Hey, what up, Joshua? Welcome to the stream. Monsi says, I'm still using Steve Francis. Dude, Steve Francis is a beast. He's a little bit outdated, but easy jump shot, great dunking, great handles. I use him every now and then, too. He's fun. Mank said, my internet went out at like 11. I've been asleep ever since then, and it's like 5. Whew. It's almost 5 o'clock for me, too. Actually, no, it's almost 4 o'clock for me because I'm central time. Trey said, are you ending stream after this? After we get um, Terry Cummings, yes. I'm going to maybe shoot around with him, check out his attributes, badges, and stuff, but... Yeah, we're going to end stream after we get Terry Cummings because that's our ultimate goal. Blarney said, haven't been here in a long time. I feel bad. Hey, no need to feel bad, man. I know you guys get busy. I know you guys have things to do, places to be, school, work, sports. I know you guys can't be here every single stream, so don't need, no need to feel bad. It's good to have you back. 
as long as you're still subscribed as long as you still show up just like you did today i know you still support the channel but i do appreciate you coming back Vasco said, how can I get my player to 90 overall fast? Um, you know, buying VC, spending VC, and I guess playing the game a lot. I don't play much my career, but it doesn't take too long to get 90 overall, I'm pretty sure. Lachlan said, are you going to do any pack openings? Yes, tomorrow. Whatever those new packs are tomorrow, I'll probably do a pack opening on my other account. Good shot, Dame. Do you play basketball in real life? Not as much as I used to, but yes, I still play a little bit. I actually have some basketball videos on my channel. I have a real life basketball playlist if you guys want to check it out. Doc says, I got COVID, so I can watch the entire stream, and I want to. I appreciate that, Docs. I appreciate you watching the stream, but I'm still sorry you got COVID, man. Sorry you got COVID. A lot of you guys lately have been getting the virus, getting sick, and I wish all of y'all speedy recoveries. Blarney said, over halfway done with senior year. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. So, hear about... I want to say a little over four months away from graduating, which is a pretty big deal. I'm happy for you. Hey, what up, Bo? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Vito? Monty said, saw your basketball videos. You're a sniper. I appreciate that, Monty. Yeah, I shot very well from three in high school. I got one offer to play in college, but it was a D3, so yeah. D3 schools don't give those full athletic scholarships, so... I chose UAB instead. I'm wearing the UAB shirt right now, actually. Love shooting those threes. What's up, Noah? Welcome back. What's up, C. Sowens? I took a break from my team after getting Carmelo. Came back for a couple games and got Reggie. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm guessing your team might not be that great right now because you haven't played in so long. But, man... Getting Reggie Lewis is a huge boost. Keep on playing Clutch Time, TTO, all those offline, online game modes. And your team is going to be looking good in no time. Rezik says, when are you going to grind for Yao? Probably tomorrow. I think we're going to get Yao Ming tomorrow. I mean, we're so close to getting him. And I haven't even played Unlimited or Limited for real yet, so... Maybe tonight I'll play a little bit of TTO and Unlimited once I get home from the gym and shower and stuff. And then tomorrow we'll actually lock in and get Mr. Yao. Hey, what up, Touching Grass? Welcome to the stream, Oscar. Good to have you in the building. Been too long since I've been in here, but we back. Welcome back, my brother. I'm so used to calling you Mr. Shat. And calling you touching grass. I have nothing, I have no problem with that. But I don't know. I might just have to call you by your real name. Or just call you grass. Oh, I don't know. Welcome to the stream though, chat. Shoddy said, do you go to the gym every day? I don't go to the gym every single day. But I do make sure to do something every single day. You know, if I don't go to lift weights one day, I'll make sure to go outside and I'll do some cardio. Or I'll do some workout outside. Whenever I can't go to the gym, I usually get a run in. A little run around my neighborhood. But with that being said, though, I do try to go every day. Human Zombie said, just sniped Steve Nash's signature for 50k. And it goes for 70 on PlayStation? That's huge. Are you going to sell it back? Or are you actually going to try and lock in? For Jameson. Rezik says, when I get Yao Ming, yes, I got confidence. Will he be better than Evo Shaq? I think so. I mean, Shaq with the Evo has what? Like a 57 three-point shot. And Yao Ming, without any shoe boost, without any, you know, diamond, without anything added to his player, has a 73. With Coach Curry, 
Steph Curry, that's a plus five three-point shot. With the diamond shoe boost, that's a plus four. So it ends up as an 82 three-point shot. He's got good shooting badges. And I'll probably give him some more. He's seven foot six, so he's going to be a great masher. He's going to be really good, Yao Ming. I'm excited to get him tomorrow. I've put people in a bit of a predicament exactly like, do I call you touching grass every time? Because that's kind of long. Do I call you Mr. Shat? It's short, but it's not your name anymore. So I might just have to call you Oscar. I don't think you've ever heard me call you that, but I might have to start. It's good to have you in the stream though, man. Hey, what up, Peyton? Welcome back to the stream. CB said, how many wins do you have now? 966. 34 more wins. CB. Dan Loki says, can you turn off the dunk meter? You know you can't turn it off, but you could just hold down the button and dunk instead of holding down the right stick. Hey, what's up, Simo? Welcome back to the stream. He almost said, I just played versus Ty Debo in TTO. Almost beat him. Man, I've beaten Ty Debo once in TTO, but he's beaten me like four or five times in TTO and in unlimited no no chance I've beaten him once and that was it and I was using like diamonds and he was using like amethyst so it's not like we were even evenly matched I've played against him like five or six times and I've only won once so yeah he's a beast It's crazy you must be pretty good too because beating him is not easy coming close is not easy Noah said, one more signature for Antoine Jameson. Nice. Yeah, Antoine Jameson. I've heard he's 100% worth locking in. He's great. Of course, DeMarcus Cousins was also great. All these signature players, really good. Even Dwight Howard and Bird weren't bad. Benjamin said, how many wins you have? 966. And this should be 967 since, I mean, come on. We don't lose to the CPU out here. Good shot. I think people have settled for grass, but you might have to ask around. I'll call you grass then. I'll call you grass. Rezik says, I wish I got Dame. He looks so good. Yeah, Dame is great. Especially in offline game modes. I use him online too, but lately I've been using Baron Davis a lot more. But nah, Dame is great. Is Brian said, what's up, Doc? How's your day? It's been a great day, man. Hope it's been a good day for you, too. The Truth said, what's the best way to grind for Yao Ming? Best game mode. There really is no best game mode. Um, I mean, you gotta play Domination. You gotta play your triple threats. You're unlimited. I think Domination is the best way to get challenges done in bulks, you know? If you need 500 points with players from the Signature Series, if you need 100 assists, 100 rebounds, just put a bunch of players from the Signature Series on your team and play Domination on Rookie. You can score, like, over 150 points every game. You can get, like, I want to say 50, 60 assists. You can get a bunch of rebounds, a bunch of steals, blocks. You can get a bunch of challenges done just by playing Domination on Rookie. So, I guess Domination, if I had to pick one. Lucas said, just got Granger. Nice. Muhammad said, Doc, who's your favorite team? The Knicks. Felipe said, I'm back. What's good, Felipe? Welcome back to the stream, my man. Brian said, it has not. Just got home from school. I hate it. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But, hey, school's a good thing. Keep on going. And now you're done with it, so you can just chill at your place and play the game. Noah said, what cards do you want to see in tomorrow's packs? Honestly, I really don't care who we get tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the packs no matter what. I don't care too much about who we get. I'm going to do a pack opening regardless on my other account. On this account, I never spend any VC. I never open packs. On the other account, though, I make sure to do a pack opening whenever I can. Usually on Fridays, and I post the video on 
Saturdays. Call for a screen right here. Good defense by this gold player. Look how close he is to me. Kind of hard to play this game so much. Got a girlfriend and a job. No, for real. I mean, I got a lot of stuff to balance too. And it's hard to put in the amount of time to get the XP challenges done. And, you know, actually grind out game modes like Clutch Time and Unlimited when you have so much on your plate. So I feel you on that. So yeah, if I had to pick one game mode for you to grind, it would have to be just Rookie Domination. So you can score points, get rebounds, get assists. It can be time consuming, man. For real. Bo said, is Bailey Howell good? Bailey Howell's great. Especially for uh, a free pink diamond. Easy jump shot, good defense, good rebounding. I like him a lot. Felipe said, please stream the pack opening. I would, but tomorrow I'm streaming level 40. We're getting Yao Ming tomorrow, Felipe. It's going to be a pretty big spectacle, so you better not miss it. Man, I like streaming the pack openings, but I've had so much fun editing those into videos lately, so I think I'll do that again this weekend. I'll drop a video on Saturday of the pack opening, and then Sunday, I think I'm going to do a gameplay video for Yao. I think. But we'll have to see. Good defense. Noah said, about to get Antoine. I need Clay's signature. That's about it. At the end, it's going to end up being around 135k. That's not bad at all. 135k for all those signatures for Galaxy Opal Antoine. That's pretty good, all things considered. Buy Greedy said, how do you find Diamond Andrew Wiggins? You can buy Diamond Andrew Wiggins on the auction house. Just type in Andrew Wiggins, Diamond, and you'll see him there. Unless you're talking about the Diamond Andrew Wiggins from the beginning of the year. Because he's just luck-based. You get him from promo packs. Anderson said, we need new moments cards. I think we're going to get new moments cards on the first day of February. I think we're gonna get new moments of the month in February, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see. Turks said I'm back. How many wins left? I think 32. Including this, I think 32 games left, but I could be wrong. I guess we'll check now. Just Me TV said, should you get Baron Davis if you have enough tokens or wait for another Galaxy Opal reward? Uh, Just Me TV, in my opinion, getting tokens is so easy. From Triple Threat Online especially, Domination. I think it's pretty easy, so... Personally, I went ahead and bought Baron Davis. I think he's worth it. I think you should try him out, but... If you really do want to save up tokens, it's not that hard. And I do think we're going to get a better Opal reward next season. But, keep in mind, we're eventually going to get Dark Matter token rewards. So, you need five Opals, most likely, to get those. That's how it was last year, at least. So, you're going to need to buy Opals to get those eventual Dark Matter token rewards. So, keep that in mind. I think Baron Davis is pretty nice, though. He's missing a few important badges, mainly Limitless Spot Up. He has Deadeye, though. I'm pretty sure he has Blinders. He has some pretty great badges, but yeah. I think he's good. I think he's worth it. Good shot. Turk said Xavier here. I'm calling it. I mean, I already have two Xavier McDaniels, so it ain't too big of a deal. We didn't get him right there. I already got him twice. And yeah, having one of those is enough. I'll go ahead and shoot this. Bo said, bruh, just sat here for five minutes. And didn't give me the win? What? What are you talking about? Was somebody stalling you in clutch time or something? Good shot. Felipe said, I want a Zach Levine card this Friday. Man, I've been predicting a Zach Levine card for the longest, and I've been wrong every single week. We need a new Zach Levine. It's kind of been forever. 
NMG says, I like Gary Payton in real life. I wish I got his pink diamond. He's also elite in the game. Yeah, he is a beast in the game. You're right about that. Pink diamond Gary Payton. I never really use him anymore, but he is one of the best defensive guards in the game. No question about it. And he's not terrible offensively either. Muhammad said the Lakers are bad. You're not wrong. I mean, they've been pretty bad this season. I want to say that, you know, they can find a way to bounce back. They can turn things around. And I really think they can. But yeah, it's been rough so far. LeBron's been carrying. Anthony Davis is hurt. Westbrook is shooting terribly. Turning it over. Like, they just got to find a groove. They have such a good collection of players, but... They just haven't been able to figure it out so far this season. They still have time, but as of right now, it's really tough to predict them winning a championship. Tyler says, I got Diamond Jamal Murray from a promo pack. That is very lucky, but I'm also very happy for you. That Jamal Murray was pretty good earlier in the year. King Jess said, are we ever going to get a Reggie Miller in the game at some point? In 2K22, probably not. Maybe in the future, if he agrees to be in 2K. Maybe. But probably not this year, no. Grass said, Dolph Shades needs an NBA 75 card. I predict we see an Amethyst Budget Shades this weekend. That's a pretty good guess. I mean... We haven't seen Dolph Shays since those Ultra Ego packs. So it's been a long time. And he does need a new card. So, chat, you might be right about that. If we get a Dolph Shays, I'm going to remember you said that. Because we actually might. Get the rebound. <sighs> Daniel said Mo Lucas is good. And I can green with him from the corners. Yeah, Mo Lucas can green from the corners. I mean, really, he can knock down shots from anywhere. But, yeah, of course, his jumper is not super consistent. I hope we get Porzingis this weekend. Honestly, we haven't gotten him in a long time either. I don't think we've seen Porzingis since season one, honestly. Has it really been that long since the last Porzingis? It might be. Amethyst Porzingis. Dan Loki says, I hate the alley -oop mechanic. Can you guys turn it off, please? Sadly, there's no way to turn it off. You just gotta get used to timing it. You just gotta get used to hitting that button at the right time. Miami said, Doc's the goat. I appreciate you, Miami. Just Me TV said, When do you think they'll drop Opal Lonzo or LaMelo? That's a good question. I mean, of course, we're not going to see Dark Matters until, like, later in the year. I want to say in March, we're going to see the first Dark Matters in PAX. So, sometime before then, I think we'll get, like, a pretty good Lonzo. Maybe a Diamond or a Pink Diamond. I think we'll see an Opal Amello before we see Lonzo. Unless 2K drops both of those guys together. I remember last year... Pink Diamond, Inferno, Porzingis was a bucket. Porzingis is just always a fun player in 2K. 7'3", good speed, good jump shot. You can't really go wrong with that. Porzingis is always a beast. Aiden said take a half court shot. One second. Let me get across half court. Or I could just pull up from back here. Oh no. Let me see if I can get a half court shot. Let me make George Gervin fall. Then I'll go to half court. Then I'll shoot it. Ah, tough. King Jess said it seems like everybody's getting Maurice Lucas. I hope I can too. Man, I've been seeing a lot of guys get him, including myself. So, yeah, I hope you're able to get him too. I hope you can get him, Mr. Shat. He's a really good card, so I don't want you guys to miss out on him. Snags RT said how many wins left? Um, 30 including this game right here. But if we win this game, that's going to be 29 games remaining. So a little less than two hours left in the stream. 
Aiden said they just tweeted, Lamelo's getting a pink diamond. Nice. Andre said, who do you think is going to be the reward for this month's moments of the month? Hmm, Andre. Joel Embiid just scored 50 points. I mean, it could be him. Jokic just put up like 49 point triple double. Devin Booker just put up like 48 points. It could be any one of those three guys. So Jokic, Embiid, Booker. We haven't gotten D Book in a long time. So maybe he gets a Galaxy Opal for next month's moments of the month or this month's moments of the month rather. Just Me TV said, what do you think about a 99 everything Shaq? I don't really care about 99 everything Shaq. I mean, he's going to be good, but his jumper is going to be so slow. Very easy to bait. That's stuff I think about, at least. Touching Grass said, Embiid or Giannis deserves a moment's card. They can be the final reward. True. Yeah, Giannis has also been insane lately, but I haven't mentioned him because... Every time he goes off, it just feels normal, honestly. It feels normal. Not a special occasion at all when Giannis puts up like 40 points, 20 rebounds. Yeah. I meant Giannis. I think I said Giannis. Hey, what's up, Justin? Welcome to the stream. Felipe said that LaMelo card art is fire. Haven't seen it yet. I'll check after the stream, though. I'll take a look after we get all these wins. Split said John Morant for moments of the month. It could be John Morant too. But in terms of like big one game performances lately, it's been Booker. It's been Embiid and Jokic recently. John Morant did have that big game versus LA though. So I think he'll get a moments of the month card too. Possibly. We'll have to see. Hey, what up, Noah? Welcome to the stream. Felipe said, check it out after. I got you, yeah. Once stream's over, I'll take a look at that card art. Andre says, I like how Clay Thompson missed two years, only played three games, and he's already an all-star. He's not going to be an all-star, though. He's pretty high in the voting, but yeah, he's not actually going to be an all-star. It sounds like everybody in the chat, Timothy... Felipe, everybody thinks that LaMelo card art is fire. Oh, uh, what's the promo tomorrow? Is it Flash? Because nobody said that. What's the promo? Flash, Signature Series, Limited Edition. Y'all let me know what the promo is because earlier I predicted Flash. I mean, it's probably not going to be Flash, but yeah. It's called Beats. Okay. That's pretty cool. With a tiger in the background. Oh, just like the level 40 in the park. Beasts. I like that. <laughs> That's going to be cool. It's a brand new promo. I'm surprised. I was thinking Flash, Glitch, Beasts though. I like that. Whole new promo. Yeah, so much XP chat. There's going to be a lot of XP. Not only for the regular Beast players, but also for the NBA 75 players who were included, which could be Dolph Shays, could be Will Chamberlain. I guess we'll have to see. FIFA says, how can I get 14 rebounds with Diallo? Uh, check out my video about that. Anderson said, should be Beast Mode. Has that been a promo before, Beast Mode? If not, that would be pretty cool. By Greedy said, who do you think is going to win MVP? As of right now, Giannis. Most improved. I want to say Tyler Hero or Desmond Bain. Defensive player. Either Giannis or Draymond. Six man. I'm thinking Boy Wonder for that too. Ah, bad defense. Felipe says, we're about to get Zach Levine. If we don't, I'm suing. Yeah, man, we've been waiting for a new Zach Levine for a long time. I mean, we haven't gotten Levine in forever. I think we got a diamond in, like, season one. My most improved player 
is either Desmond Bain or Kuzma. Kuzma's been insane lately. He's been really good lately, but he got off to a weird start this year. He started off really well, then he started playing really bad, but now he's back on track. His numbers look good, but the reason why they're not even better is because he started off the season kind of bad. So if he can sustain the way he's playing now, maybe he'll be most improved, but as of right now, I think of Desmond Bain, Tyler Hero, even guys like Tyrese Maxey, um, Pat Connaughton, Grayson Allen, are guys I think about who've taken some big jumps this year. Hey, what up, Axel? Welcome to the stream. Just Me TV said Rookie of the Year. I think Rookie of the Year right now is Mobley. Of course, we're about halfway through the season, so things can change. Things can really start to change, but at this moment, it's got to be Evan Mobley. Scotty Barnes has been good, but he's been slumping a little bit lately. Of course, Cade Cunningham's been nice. He's really been picking up steam lately, too. And I think it comes down to those three guys for Rookie of the Year. I think it's a three-horse race. Good shot. Felipe said this could literally be perfect for them. Zach Levine in the red Chicago jersey. I mean, some guys are getting so hyped over LaMelo already, and he's just a pink diamond. It really makes me wonder what the Galaxy Opals are about to be. It could be Levine. Alrighty. We got takeover, so this should be easy buggers for the rest of the game. Good shot. 2K's card art has been stepping up. Hey, man, they really have been killing it lately. I mean, the entire year, they've just had really good card art, man. Greek Freak said LaMelo is going to play with my eyeball tomorrow. LaMelo Ball playing with the eyeball. You'll have to hear it and see it. I thought that was my rebound. Honestly, after he shot that, I looked at the chat. Good shot, Dame. Daniel said, have you noticed that only rookies have won Rookie of the Year? Facts, you never see sophomores win that reward. You never see, you know, five-time All-Stars win that reward. You never see guys above 30 winning that reward too often. I mean, it's weird. Only rookies end up winning Rookie of the Year. Like, uh, makes no sense, Daniel. Honestly, it's not fair. Axel says, I'm one challenge away from getting Damar. Any badges I should give him? Handles for days, pretty important. Um, I think quick first step, he's also missing that. And of course, limitless spot up. Adam said, Pink Diamond Lamello, OMG. I'm going to try sniping him. Hey, good luck. Good luck. You try to snipe him, I'm going to try to pull him from those new packs. I'm excited for new packs. Even though I never opened them on this account, still excited. Turk said, how much does the season last? I'm pretty sure if you go to the main menu, it says 35 days left. I could be wrong though, but I think it's like 35 days left. I think you just pull up 2K, that's the first thing you see. Axel said, is Damar good? Yes. Felipe said, Doc the Pack Addict. Yes. Also, yes. I'm saying yes a lot. I gotta be more creative with my answers. I wouldn't say I'm addicted to packs, Felipe, but I really do love opening them on the other account. It's fun. The element of just not knowing what you're about to get, I love it. Hey, what up, Cap? Welcome to the stream. Official Don said, your sarcasm is crazy. Some people say the best thing about my sarcasm is that they can't even tell half the time that it's sarcasm. If you're able to tell, though, you're a real one. It's pretty easy to tell, though, in all seriousness. Hey, what up, Jonathan? Welcome to the stream. Go ahead and knock down this three. Taj says, what about new domination? I think we might get new, new domination halfway through the season, but I'm not sure because in the blog, 
2K didn't say a single word about new domination, so not 100% sure if we actually will get some, but maybe new domination, new spotlights about halfway through the season. We'll have to see. Jake says you're kind of hot. I appreciate it, but I know you're lying. I've said this many times. I've kind of, you know, grown to accept it. I'm a weird looking dude. Ugly? Not necessarily. Hot? No. I'll give myself a solid four, maybe five. I've said this so many times. People in the chat, they'll joke around and say stuff like that. And I know it's not true, but I do appreciate the love. Or whatever you want to call it. Hey, what up, Proof Channel? Welcome to the stream. Felipe said packs are going to be 15,750 MT. You're probably right. That's what they were last week, those new packs. Oh, good step back. Adam said he's not lying. Oh, he is. Jared said Pink Diamond Lonzo tomorrow. Lonzo and LaMelo tomorrow, Pink Diamonds? I don't know. Then again, we got Dark Matter Lonzo and LaMelo on the same day last year. I'm pretty sure that was Flash, but I could be wrong. All right, guys. We're almost on the final stretch. We're almost on the final 25 games. Felipe said, if it is, you owe me $100. Chill out. Andrew said, what level you at? Uh, 39. Tomorrow, we're going to get 40. Maki says, I'm about to grind the signed signature challenges. Who should I use? I have Avery Bradley and PJ Tucker. Uh, Boris Diaw and Bargnani are really good players to get for rebounds. And for, you know, scoring, since Diaw and Bargnani can both shoot. And they're both pretty cheap, too. Oh, wrong pass. Yeah, they're both very cheap. Andrew said it was Flash. That's what I thought. I just had to clarify. I thought it was Flash. Clever says what packs are coming tomorrow. Beast packs. Beast packs. Greek Freak said packs are going to be VC only. I hope not. If packs are only VC, I'm not going to be doing a pack opening. And I love doing pack openings. Felipe said when the hell did Dort get a moments card? I think season... Two, Diamond Lou Dort. Of course, he also has the Ruby Dunktober card. I think the Diamond might have been Season 3. Lou Dort. His Diamond's nice. Adam said if it's VC only, 2K is sus. I agree. I completely agree. Better not be VC only, 2K. I swear. Black one said, finally made it to level 37. Yes, sir. That's pretty good. Level 37 is mighty fine. Especially considering how much time there is left in the season. That's very good. You guys let me know in the chat what level you are right now. I'm probably going to see a lot of 39s, 38s, 37s, but probably a lot of 30s, 31s, 32s as well. Y'all let me know. Oh, good defense, Dort. Miles said 32, Clever said 33, Aiden said 31, Legendary said 31. Like I said, man, I see a lot of guys in the chat in the 30s, so... Yeah, you guys have been doing a good job grinding XP so far. 38 for Threaty or Note, 38 for Carl, 33 for Awok and Jonathan. And then, of course, Solo's 24, Adam's 26. That's still not bad. I mean, you guys gotta realize that there's a lot of time left in the season, so... Just because you ain't 30... Just because you ain't 33 or 34 doesn't mean this season is a lost cause. This season's just getting started. Hasn't even been one full week, so you guys got time. And we're going to get so much XP as the season goes on. So you guys stay patient. Don't panic. Anybody can do this. Hey, what's up, Dom and Dimes? Welcome to the stream. Also, Clout Nun. Thank you for subscribing. I haven't said this in a long time, but you guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow Clout Nun's example and 
Let's keep this channel growing. Let's see if we can get to 24,000 before this stream is over. Hey, my boy Dan's 34. Kid Pronto's 34. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of 34s, 35s, 36s. You guys are killing it, man. Y'all are doing a great job. Scal said Pink Diamond Lamello. You still think no chance at Opal T-Mac? I think T-Mac's going to drop in February, but if we get one tomorrow, that would be pretty cool. And 2K would make some pretty good money with Opal T-Mac and Lamello in packs. That would be pretty crazy. Turk said, is Hamadou Diallo a reward? Yes, a moments reward card. Greek Freak says, the square root of 64 is my level. Interesting. Interesting. Greek Freak, <laughs> you'll get that level up in no time. You'll get that level up in no time. It's not going to be that low for the whole season. Noah said, how many wins to get showdown tier? To get to the showdown tier, you got to win 53 games. And then to beat the showdown tier, oh no, that's going to be an air ball. To beat the showdown tier, you got to win 65. So yeah, total with no losses and no getting moved down, you got to play at least 53 plus 65. Okay, one second. Let me hit this three. <laughs> That's like, what's that over? Like 118 games? That's just quick mental math, but I might have gotten it wrong. John said, I'm bored, so I'm evolving all the moments cards. Evolving all the cards I haven't yet. Honestly, I gotta do the same thing. I still need to evolve Diamond Daryl Dawkins, and I need to evolve, um, what's his name? Slick Watts. Well, I don't have to evolve them, but I haven't done it yet, so I kind of feel like it, now that you mentioned it. Touching Grass said, gonna head out, Doc. Glad I can make it for a while. Good luck with the grind. You too, chat. You too. And next time you stream, I will do my best to be there, but man, I swear, I'm always asleep when my boys in Australia go live. Always. Andrew said, I'm going to try to get level 35 this weekend. Did you get Maurice Lucas? Yes, I did. It was very lucky, but I managed to get him at level 26. Dom and Dime said, does anybody know how to get gold Jakar Sampson? He's probably going to be either an agenda player in the future or a limited warm-up player in the future. We'll see. Good defense. Alright, let's run away with this game. We have not been very good so far, but we have takeover now, so let's go ahead and run away with this thing. Solo said, did you evolve D. Brown? I did evolve D. Brown, but I haven't evolved Slick Watts or Daryl Dawkins. That's pretty much it. Good shot. Sean said, are you grinding... Online triple threat or triple threat? A little bit of both. In this stream, though, only offline. I'll grind online eventually. Honestly, probably next week. Because today we're doing offline. Tomorrow we're getting Yao Ming. And then, yeah. Monday, I think we'll go ahead and play some triple threat online to start off the new week. Because this weekend I'm going to post some videos, do a pack opening, and yeah. We're just grinding through these different game modes, one by one. Bo says, I've never hit level 40. That's okay. I mean, level 40 is not the do-all, end-all in my team. Just because you don't hit 40, it doesn't mean you're a bad player. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're a failure. Because there's still such good players you can get who aren't the level 40 reward. There's good alternatives for Allen Iverson, Yao Ming, and there's other players you can get in clutch time, unlimited, limited. It ain't a big deal if you don't hit 40. Hey, what's up, Nathan? Welcome to the stream. My man Nathan came in and said, What's up, Doc Nation? What's up, Nathan? Welcome to the stream. Hey, 
everybody who's joining the stream, Sean, Nathan, everybody who's coming through, I haven't said this in a while, but you guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. Talk to me in the chat, let me know how you're doing, and yeah, we're just gonna close out this grind strong. I think we have 25 games left. Josh said six games in a row, no vault. It'd be like that sometimes, Josh. Ain't too much you can do about that. The vault sometimes can be cruel. But eventually it'll open back up. Will it give you anything good? Maybe not. I mean, I've been getting one token, 500 MT the entire stream, but... That vault's gonna open back up eventually. I promise you that. Greek Freak says, I've never hit level 40 this year. To be fair though, Greek, you probably haven't gone for it too aggressively, and... I know a lot of guys who've done the same thing. I know some really good players who just don't feel like going for 40 because they don't really care about who the player is. They'd rather get other cards instead. I understand if you just haven't felt the motivation or had the time to grind for 40. Like I said, there's no problem with that. Hey, what up, Rapid? Welcome to the stream. Isaac said, how the F? Have you played 975 games? Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, Isaac. Streaming makes it a lot easier. Doing this stuff on stream is a lot easier than doing it off stream. These games can be boring. They are not very intense. Um, I win pretty much every game I play easily without having to worry. But just grinding through these games live on stream makes it a whole lot easier. So, I think there's your answer. That's how I've done it. Just by streaming it. Uh, doing challenges while I'm doing this. Yeah, triple threat offline is boring, but I mean It's gonna be good to have it done once this stream's all over with It's gonna feel good to not have to grind for a thousand wins the rest of the season Maybe I'll play a little bit of triple threat once we get some special player in the vault like a pink diamond curry or a David Robinson for example, but now, it's going to feel good to be done for now. Infamous said, what is the best lineup for grinding triple threat offline? For triple threat offline, you want to use two gold players and one really good shooter. So, for me, I use Damian Lillard and two gold players because look at this. If you use two gold players, you match up versus gold players like Timothy Luwalu and Robert Covington. And gold players are not very good defensively, so use one really good shooter. I use Lillard, but you could also use Patty Mills, for example, um, Allen Iverson. And yeah, as you guys can see, Lillard gets open very easily. It's pretty much a guaranteed three, almost every possession. And yeah, you can get through every game in about three minutes by just doing exactly what I'm doing. Shooting threes, knocking them down. Every now and then get stops on defense, and yeah, takes about one hour to win 17, 18 games. So let's go ahead and get a stop right here, and then we'll look at the timer and see how long this game actually took. So let's go ahead and shoot one more step back right here. I might miss that. <sighs> this game's going to take like 10 extra seconds now. It's all good. I'll still make this three. And then we'll see how much time it took. Or not, I'll miss that one too. We've been playing for four minutes this game. Come on, man. All because I've just been bricking wide open. The last shot was contested, but still. This game's been taking way too long. You guys get the picture, though. Just snatch back, shoot threes. There's no reason I should be missing, though. The game lasted like 30 extra seconds all because I was bricking. Hey, what up, Trayvon? Welcome to the stream. Greek Freak said, do you put diamond contracts on any players normally? Um, I have a diamond contract on Lillard because I use him literally every game in Triple Threat Offline, unless I'm grinding challenges. I also have diamond contracts on Kawhi, LeBron, and I think that's it. If I use a player a ton, whether it's in Triple Threat Online, Unlimited, Triple Threat Offline, I give them a contract because it just saves MT. 
Daniel says, I gotta go now, but I'll be in here tomorrow. Take it easy, Daniel. And I'll see you tomorrow once I get Yao Ming. Stefan says, I can't believe you spent a thousand tokens on those alter egos. Dude, I I'm honestly, I can't believe it either, Stefan. I can't believe it either because we didn't even get anything good. It's just I had so many tokens to spend and I felt like making you guys a video. So yeah, I put two and two together. I opened those packs. I did it for science. It was a complete experiment. Josh said Lillard has a nasty three-point shot. Yes, he does. I missed a few open shots last game, but that's my fault. I got to time my shots better. Hey, what's up, Tendies? I have 400k. Any player worth picking up? I already have KD. Hmm. So what position player do you want? Point guard, shooting guard, small forward. KD's pretty good at the small forward, power forward, but Kawhi Leonard's great as a shooting guard, small forward as well. Dude, early? What? I gotta take some better shots. Back-to-back -back bricks. As I was saying, though, yeah. Kawhi Leonard's great. Terry Dissinger's great. LeBron is solid. 400k can buy pretty much any of those guys. Alright, now. Let's start making some threes. Hey, what's up? Looking crazy? Welcome to the stream. What's good? I heard this is the place to be for 2k. I think this is a place to be. If you enjoy the stream, hang around. Maybe even subscribe. It's good to have you in the stream, looking crazy. Now let's start actually scoring. I just noticed I was down 7-0. I literally didn't even realize that, so let's actually start scoring because my first two possessions were terrible. Legendary said, gotta go. Dub stream once again. See you tomorrow. Glad I can be a member. Yes, sir. I'm glad you can be a member, too. You've been supporting the channel for so long, so I knew it was only a matter of time. Take it easy, Legendary. Greek Freak said I play a ton of TTO, and the contracts drain my MT. Exactly. So, Greek Freak, when I play Triple Threat offline, I use the two gold players and Lillard. Lillard, every five games, if he doesn't have a diamond contract... You got to spend like 500 plus MT on his contracts. So that's why I gave Lillard the diamond contract. And then for gold Corey Kispert and gold Joakim Noah, it's literally, I think, 60 MT for five contracts. So I make profit by using the diamond contract on Lillard instead of having to spend 600 MT every five games. And the same thing goes in Triple Threat Online because... I use LeBron and Kawhi a lot. I'm going to use Siakam a lot too, so I might give him a diamond contract too. And I'm going to be making profit every single game, all because I'm not losing any MT. And I don't have to spend any insane amount of MT on anybody. Good shot. Josh said you're on next gen. Yes. Bo said I was confused. You weren't responding. I realized I was behind by three minutes. Hey, it happens, Bo. It happens to the best of us. You should be up to date now, though. Codeen said, what the heck kind of bum? Ruining the little namesake by self-promoting. I don't know, Codeen. I don't know, but shout out to Greek Freak for timing out Lil Cash. Sam said, are you hyped for tomorrow? Yes. Of course I'm hyped for tomorrow. We're going to get some awesome new packs, a brand new promo, Beasts promo, and I'm also getting Yao Ming tomorrow, so I'm going to record a pack opening for Saturday, and I'm going to stream getting level 40 after only one week of the new season, so we're about to be done with Triple Threat, Offline, Clutch Time, and level 40, and soon I'm going to beat Draft Mode. I should have beaten Draft Mode the other day, but... I had to get off the stream early, sadly. Still, we're making great progress this season. Hey, and speaking of greatness, my boy Dan. My boy Dan's been lurking the entire stream. He said one or two things in the chat, but he comes out of nowhere to drop a $5 dono. Hey, shout out to you, Dan. 
Dan the man, always showing love, always hiding in the shadows, but always supporting. Thank you for the $5. Great stream so far. The TTO GOAT, yes sir. You guys know I'm cool with grinding triple threat offline, but I love playing online too. I think we're going to play online on Monday, honestly. You guys have inspired me to play some TTO. Especially with all this talk about diamond contracts. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Codeine said just came by to check in and saw that. Yeah, Lil Cash was wild. I don't know what he thought that was going to do. Promoting in my stream. My moderators immediately shut him down. DeMar DeRozan says I cops. Pink Diamond signed Kyrie. Kyrie's awesome. The signed and the unsigned are both great. So that is a good pickup for you, man. Especially considering he's not very expensive. Bo said, to be honest, I just want Bailey Howell. Bailey Howell's good. His pink diamond's really nice. And if you have a coach who can, you know, boost his three-point rating, that's really going to help. He's a good rebounder, pretty athletic, moves very well on the court. Yeah, Pink Diamond Bailey Howell's nice, and he also gives you like 2,000 XP, I'm pretty sure, which is great. Josh said Diamond Contracts are on auction for 11,000 MT, exactly, so now is a really good time to get Diamond Contracts if you want to give them to a player. For example, I think Pink Diamond players, you gotta pay 500 MT every five games for contracts and if you use them in triple threat offline obviously the games are super short so that means if you play 10 games triple threat offline with a pink diamond you gotta spend a thousand mt for their contracts if you play 60 games six thousand mt if you play 100 games you guys get the picture so in some circumstances especially if you play a ton of triple threat or triple threat online you might as well go ahead and give your players the diamond contracts. If you use them a ton, you might as well. Waffle said, sorry if this has already been asked, but did you see LaMelo? Yes. Andrew said, is Candace a good coach? I've heard she is. I've heard she is, but I don't know what attributes she boosts. I have Candace Parker, but my coach is still Steph Curry in my team. Maki says, I opened a pack two days ago, and I pulled unsigned Joe Johnson. Dude, Joe Johnson's great. I used him the other day for XP challenges. I bought him because he's not very expensive. He's really good. Pink Diamond Joe Johnson. His jumper's way better than what I expected, because usually in 2K, his jumper's so ugly, but his jumper's actually really nice. Kind of like Luka's jumper, but there's no hitch. It's just a smooth, easy, one-motion release. Not super fast, but pretty easy to get right. Joe Johnson's really good. B Kid said, just got Galaxy Opal DeMar DeRozan. Congratulations. Big congratulations. DeMar DeRozan's great, so shout out to everybody who actually went out and got him. You have until the end of the month to get him, so it's really no rush. Congratulations, B Kids. Good shot. Melly said, best big man in 2K22 right now. It's probably Yao Ming, isn't it? Do you guys think Yao Ming's the best center in the game? There's also DeMarcus Cousins, of course. There's Boogie. There's, of course, David Robinson. There's Giannis. You guys let me know what y'all think, but I think it's gotta be Yao Ming. Hey, what's up, Johnny? What's up, LaFloop? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. Yeah, I think Yao Ming's got to be the best big man in the game. All things considered, the jumper, the fact that he's 7'6", the fact that paint mashing is just so effective, I think it's got to be the great wall. Even though Maurice Lucas is also great, even though Cummings is also solid, there are some pretty good centers in the game. Siakam's great, but he's more of a power forward. I don't know, y'all let me know what y'all think of who the best center in the game is right now. Andrew says, I pulled Clay out of a free pack on Friday, added Hall of Fame badges, went for a milli. Nice. Felipe said, 
get this man felipe i feel like i've been saying terry cummings too much this stream already so i'm not gonna say it more than i have to i feel like i've been saying his name way more than i need to man i remember back in nba 2k20 when 2k put terry cummings and dick barnett in the vault on the same day it was the end of 2k20 i'm pretty sure they put two Galaxy Opals in the vault at the same time. And it was Terry Cummings and Dick Barnett. There's no way 2K did that by accident. And y'all know it. Good shot, Dame. Trayvon says, I got Maurice Lucas. Nice. Yeah, Maurice Lucas is a beast. So if you got him, not only are you lucky, but I'm also happy for you. Monty said, who's the best rewards card in the game right now? It's got to be either Yao Ming or maybe Danny Granger. Kazzy Russell, I've heard, is also great. But this season, there's good rewards in every game mode, Monty. Maki said, Avery Bradley's release is so slow. I don't think it's that bad. It is kind of slow, but it's pretty easy to time if you can get open with him. And he's great defensively. Ashmel said, stopping by between shows, the Terry Cummings watch continues. Yes. If we win this game, Ash, we are 20 wins away. And we should win this game. Barring some major choke, this should be a dub. Go ahead and snatch back. Step back. Boom. Hey, what's up, Silas? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Lachlan? Welcome back. Josh said, Damian Lillard, purple, has the nastiest dunks, yo. I just slammed it on O'Neal. Nice. Yeah, Amethyst Dame Lillard, not bad, but y'all know I love the pink diamond. JR23 said, didn't they put four opals in the vault in 2K20? They never had too many events in 2K20 where they put like four opals in the vault. 2K didn't start doing those limited time event things until 2K21. That's when they started putting all those players in the vault. Like, of course, Opal Danny Ferry, Opal Ron Harper. I remember one time there was, like, Michael Jordan in the vault last year. There was Steph Curry in the vault. Yeah, 2K, they didn't start putting, you know, players who weren't vault rewards into the vault until 2K21. And clearly, they've kept it that way in 2K22, which is good. But, now I'm talking about in 2K20, when they would annually update the vault rewards... We got Terry Cummings and Dick Barnett in the vault on the same day. And it was pretty revolutionary. LaFloop said, do you think DeMar is going to be all-star captain? I mean, all-star captain comes down to whoever gets the most votes. I don't think it really matters who all-star captain is. Some people really care about it, but I really don't. Good shot. Hey, what's up, Eleven? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, haven't been here the last few days. I live in New York, so your streams are late at night for me. Interesting. Isn't New York, like, one hour ahead of where I am? Either way, welcome back, Eleven. Oh, bad shot. We're not going to miss again, this possession. We're going to miss again at some point, but not right now. Ashmel said, speaking of Ron Harper... I'm hoping for a better version sometime soon. Yeah, the Ruby was so good at the beginning of Season 1. During Season 1, Ruby Ron Harper was a beast, especially on defense. So, maybe soon we see a better Ron Harper. Silas said, how many games are you at? If we win this game, we have 20 games remaining. Which should take a little over one hour. John Doe said, going to be LeBron again. Yeah, he's probably going to be the Western Conference captain because he might have passed Steph Curry. I know Steph Curry, after the first return, had way more votes, but LeBron finally started catching up. So, yeah, I think LeBron's going to be captain again. Is it going to be Giannis and LeBron? Because I wouldn't mind that one bit. Felipe said... Tyler Hero, all-star captain, or I'm suing. Interesting. 
Tyler Hero, I wouldn't say he deserves to be an all-star, but he's had a crazy season. He's getting better and better, and I think definitely most improved. Maybe sixth man of the year, too, for Tyler Hero. Maybe he does deserve to be an all-star. Sam says, I live in NC, and I'm always good to watch your streams. I appreciate you, Sam. No, I understand if you guys can't catch the streams, though. I know you guys get busy. Infamous OG said 20 left. Let's go. Yes, sir, OG. 20 more wins. And each game takes about three minutes. Three minutes, four minutes. So this should take a little over an hour. John said Hero's not even on the list. I mean, the list is fan voting. I mean, most of those players on the list might not be in the All-Star game. I mean, LaMarcus Aldridge is on the list, and he's not even... You know, putting up all-star numbers. Clay Thompson's on the list. A lot of the guys on that list aren't going to be all-stars. Carmelo and Derrick Rose are my two favorite players ever, but they're not going to be all-stars. LaMarcus is not going to be an all-star. Clay Thompson's not going to be an all-star. So, yeah, just, just because they're on the list doesn't mean they're going to be all-stars. I mean, before the NBA changed voting to 50% fans... And 50%, you know, players and officials and coaches and stuff. Zaza Pachulia was almost an all-star. And so was, what's his name? Um, Jeremy Lin. Because they're so popular around the world. And they're both kind of memes. Hey, what's up, Shania? Welcome to the stream. Kaifo said Jordan Poole for six man. I mean, he started the majority of his games, though, so. I don't know if he'll actually win six man. I think six man's gonna be boy wonder. JR23 said, thoughts on Kazzy Russell? I've heard he's great, but I don't have him yet. Solo said, Bull Bull's finally on my favorite team. Oh, so you're a Celtics fan. Yeah, I think Bull Bull's gonna be good with the Celtics. Noah said, just locked in for Antoine. I'll tell you how I like him. I ended up spending 130k. 130k is nothing. That is really good for a Galaxy Opal who gives you 7,000 XP. Damar said Jeremy Lin at his peak was an all-star. I wish that was true. I'm a big fan of Jeremy Lin. I wish that was true. Felipe said Caleb Martin first pick. Max Struess, Omer, and then Gabe Vincent. That would be an interesting all-star lineup. It could work for the all-star game, but... Oh, man. That would be an interesting team right there. Felipe said the Celtics better not F up like they did it. Yeah, I was going to say, the Pistons, they messed things up. They didn't pass Bull Bull's physical or whatever. But, yeah. The Celtics, they better actually put Bull Bull in the game because the Nuggets weren't really doing that this season. Trey said, Kazi Russell's a good card. Really good for comp and clutch time with triple threat too. That's what I've heard. Felipe said, Rising Stars. Oh, I didn't see that part. I didn't see the Rising Stars part. My fault. Yeah, Rising Stars challenge. That would be a great lineup. Unstoppable. Man, I always look forward to the Rising Stars challenge, but I kind of forgot that was a thing. Hey, what's up, Kelvin? Welcome to the stream. We have 19 games left. Solo said, is it possible to get level 40 if you have low MT? Yes, but you're not going to be able to do it early in the season like I'm doing tomorrow. LaFloop said, you remember me? Yes. Please stop asking that. I remember everybody who talks in the chat. If you don't talk in the chat very much, I'm probably not going to remember, but I remember guys who show up consistently. And you've been pretty consistent. Hey, what up, Zay? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Toxic Dude? Do you recommend playing the draft? I think I do. Um, it's pretty fun, in my opinion. And it's super rewarding. It gets pretty old fast, because 2K doesn't really update it or talk about it, and... I mean, it's technically not even free to play, but... I think it's pretty fun. It's super rewarding. You get a lot of tokens, a lot of MT, contracts, diamond consumables and stuff on the top board if you win all 10 games 
It's not the most fun game mode, but it might be the most rewarding, so I'd recommend playing it even though it does get kind of old fast, and the rewards aren't great. I mean, Drummond last season was awesome. Tony Parker this season doesn't look bad, but yeah, it is definitely not high on 2K's priority list. Kaifo said you saw LaMelo, yes. David said, do captains have to be from different conferences? Yes. One captain in the Eastern Conference, one captain in the Western Conference is how it works in the All-Star game. And then those captains draft their own teams. Ah, crap. Bad defense. Andrew said, TTO. What about TTO? Nice little step back. Oh, can't be missing wide open shots like that. JR said Serge Ibaka Diamond is so good. Yes, he is. Great shot blocker. Nice shooter. Pretty good post scoring. Some people in the chat earlier were hating on Serge Ibaka, but I don't think he's that bad. Kaifo said Eastern Conference. Give me Giannis. Yeah, he's probably going to be captain in the East. And then the West is probably going to be the King. Good steal. Let's go ahead and win this thing. Nice. Eleven said, I agree about Surge. Yeah, Surge is pretty good. Surge is that guy. Mikey said, what's the easiest way to get MT? Oh, so Andrew was answering Mikey's question. Got you. Yeah, TTO, I think, is the best way to make MT. I agree with Andrew. I didn't see Mikey's question, but yes, Andrew's right. I think TTO is the best way to make MT. The best game mode. LaFloop said, how can someone hate Ibaka? He is 8,000 GOAT at the center position. Um, there were guys earlier saying they can't time his jump shot, he doesn't have Hall of Fame rebound chaser, and I was like, you don't have to have Hall of Fame rebound chaser. I mean, gold is still solid. That doesn't ruin the card, in my opinion. Hey, what up, Poku? Welcome to the stream. Good block. Oh no, one second, my music cut off. Oh no, the music didn't cut off, the playlist ended, so... Let me go ahead and restart my playlist real quick. We're not going to be live for too much longer, so let me go ahead and replay the intro playlist. Hey, what up, Murder? Welcome to the stream. Snatch back. Missed that three. Come on, Doc. Welcome to the stream, though, Murder. Raphael said Rudy Gay or Jameson? Hmm... I haven't used either of them. Actually, no, I used Rudy Gay, but I haven't used Jameson. I'm guessing Jameson's better. I mean, Jameson has a super easy jump shot. I've seen it. And yeah, Rudy Gay, he's got a great jump shot too. Jameson just all around seems like the better player, but he does cost more. You got to lock in all those signatures and you got to lock in a lot of MT, but Rudy Gay is relatively cheap for a player who's as good as he is. So I think Jameson's the better player, but... Rudy Gay might give you more bang for your buck, considering that he's not as expensive. So, y'all let me know what y'all think, but I think that's a pretty solid little opinion right there. Trey said, see, why you lying? You got that from me. I said his defense was still hella good. I mean, a Serge Ibaka, his defense is going to be good. I wouldn't say I got that from you. I just got that from the fact that Serge Ibaka is a good shot blocker in real life and in the game. And I've used him, so, yeah. Hey, what's up, Didia? Morales, welcome to the stream. Lonzo says you got Xavier. I've gotten Xavier twice. I've played over 200 games, and I've gotten him twice, so, eh, I guess that's not bad RNG. Thread of your note says, I just hit level 39. Should I wait until tomorrow's challenges for 40? That's your call. I mean, you could go ahead and get some challenges done now, but we are going to get a lot of challenges tomorrow too. So if you want to hit 40 tomorrow, that's your call. I know I'm hitting 40 tomorrow. 
Good defense. Gotta get the rebound, though. LaFloop says, I finally feel normal on your live when it's not like 300 people. Tomorrow's stream might have a lot of people in there because I'm getting Yao Ming, so tomorrow's stream might be kind of packed. But today, it's been pretty chill. We've averaged about 150, 160 viewers, which is chill. It's not too much. And you guys have been super active in the chat. I've been doing my best to read everything, too. Ashmel said, I'm a big fan of getting bang chill out, Ashmel. But no, I agree. I mean, Rudy Gay is not as good as Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson, like you said, is a walking bucket. But Rudy Gay, for his price, compared to the price you got to lock in for Antoine, is still pretty good. Hey, what's up, Jermarcus? Jamarcus said, I'm back. I haven't been focusing on 2K lately. I've been having fun with family. That's still very good, Jamarcus. Spending time with family is important. Spending time with people you love is important. Rise Shoddy said, Unlimited says 16 games in each tier. Yes, it said that for like three seasons now. But I appreciate the reminder. Noah said, Holy balls, dude. This Antoine's a total green machine. Yes, he is. You gave him plus four speed, speed with ball, lateral quickness, and three-point shot. That's really good. Lonzo Ball Ka says, I really like the streams lately. Thanks for the great content. No problem. I enjoy doing this, Lonzo. I enjoy talking to you guys, playing the game, and just chilling. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Appreciate everybody who's subscribed, like the stream, talk in the chat, all that good stuff. Give me that. And this should be a three. LaFloop says, I'm not going to be tomorrow. I do my best to read every single chat, but yeah, sometimes the chat goes flying. I do the best I can to read everything, but there are some days where that chat just goes too fast, I swear. It ain't easy reading everything. Give me a screen, Corey. There we go. Good screen. No! Quickly said, are you going for the unlimited reward? Yes. I think I'll go for TTO, then unlimited. I already got Pascal Siakam from Clutch Time. We're about to get um, Terry Cummings. We got Xavier McDaniel. We got Mark Price. Baron Davis, Maurice Lucas. I feel like it's only right we go for the TTO player, then the unlimited player. Maki said you on Xbox? Yes. Ashmel says I'll get Yao Ming next week. Haven't been going hard, but hit level 36 last night, so... Oh yeah, it'll definitely happen soon, Ash. Level 36? You'll be fine. You have more than enough time. 36 is solid. If you're anywhere in the 30s after one week, you're killing it, officially. Let's get a three real quick. Snatch back. Knock it down. I think 16 games left once this game's over with. I think we have 16 games to win, so I've been going at a pretty good pace. Ooh, that's off. Like I was saying, though, we've been going at a pretty good pace. ZYT says, I'm getting Yao Ming week three. I'm in no rush. Hey, that's a good mentality. I'm just going for Yao early for the content, you know? To give you guys content and to challenge myself. And also so I can give you guys a Yao Ming video pretty soon since I have something pretty good in mind. There we go. Finally. Woo. TK said, have you used the Penny Diao duo? I've played against them a lot, but I haven't used Penny in the duo. I've used Boris Diao a ton, though. Raptor said, when did you get Xavier McDaniel? Uh, Friday. In my third game. Hey, what's up, LA Laker fan? Welcome to the stream. Josh says, I've been playing four days, level 25. Do you think I'm good? That is a pretty good start, yes. Shoddy said, my bad. Didn't put that right. I was wondering if you can go 12-4. and four. Yes, yes. So, 
You don't have to go 12 and 0 anymore. All you have to do is go 12 and 4. 12 and 0, gone. Mikey said 90 XP until level 33. Pretty good. Very good, Mikey. Isaiah said 24,000 subs for Kobe soon. Yes, sir. If we don't get 24,000 subs today, maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, maybe by the end of the weekend. I mean, it's really no rush growing this channel. TK said, what do you major in? So I'm in grad school right now, but during my undergraduate, which I graduated from in, what's it called? This past summer, double majored in neuroscience and communications broadcasting. My mom always wanted me to go to med school. And of course that was always an option for me too. So that's why I had the neuroscience major and the communication stuff, the broadcasting. I enjoy commentating, you know, editing videos, like public speaking and stuff like that. So yeah, that's always been a thing for me. Now being a commentator will be dope, but nah, like writing, editing, talking, stuff like that. I've always had a affinity for that. So that's why I major in two things that are so different. Hey, what's good, Christopher? Welcome to the stream, my man. Also, what's up, Ultimate? I'll be level 37 after this Triple Threat offline game. That's crazy. Level 37 is a great start to the season. If you're level 36 or 37, you better not be asking me if you can still get Yao. Come on, man. Y'all know better than that. That's really good, though, Ultimate. Hey, what up, AK? Welcome to the stream. Just came back on 2K. School's been screwing me for a while, hey. It's good that you've been focusing on yourself, though. And of course, it's good that you're focusing on your classes as well. Whew, welcome back to the stream, man. LaFloop said, just imagine Curry, Clay, Durant, Draymond, Iggy on one team. I couldn't imagine that. Maybe on the Warriors one day. No, I'm kidding. Murder says, if I'm level 36 right now, could I possibly get Yao tomorrow? Hmm. That's a good question. There's a lot of challenges you haven't done. But we're also getting a lot more new stuff tomorrow. I don't know if we're getting enough new stuff to get you from 36 to 40, like just off tomorrow's content, but if you also start grinding the challenges you haven't done yet that you can do, then if you really lock in, you could totally do it. Totally. Gabe said level 37. Ultimate says I'm not. I know I'll get him pretty soon. Hey, you're gonna get him pretty soon. 37's a great start. Felipe says I'm level 49. AK said I miss your content though, for real. I got a lot of catching up to do. Hey man, if you want to go back and watch the old streams, feel free, but I don't think you've missed that much. No matter what though, it is good to have you back. But yes, Felipe, you're level 49. I'd say you have a you have a puncher's chance at getting Yao Ming. A puncher's chance. Let's do this. We're being guarded by Gold Cameron Payne. Look at Lillard rejecting those shots. Nico said Lamelo Pink Diamond, yes. Looking forward to that. I'm doing a pack opening on the other account, so I'm really hoping I can pull Lamelo or whoever else we get tomorrow. Maybe Wilt Chamberlain Galaxy Opal? We'll have to see. You can't tell me Wilt's not a beast. ZayYT said, can you stream the Yao Ming challenge once you get him? Yes, I will. That's right. You gotta get you gotta do that Yao Spotlight Challenge. I completely forgot, so. Yeah, I can do that after I get Yao tomorrow, yes. Depending on how long the stream ends up being, I should be able to do that. No doubt about it. Hey, what's up, hearty kids? Welcome to the stream. Eleven says I'm level 34, grinding those rewards challenges. Yes, sir. Those rewards challenges can be tedious. Especially Robert Reed and, um, who's the other one? Bailey Howell. Getting those rebounds and triple threat can suck. Z 
Xenon said how many more wins? Uh, not including this game, 14, but 15 including this one. John Morant's getting an Opal. Nice. We're probably going to get two Opals tomorrow at least, so I wonder who the other one is. I'm guessing it's going to be a big, unless the other pink diamond's a big. Good shot. But yes, we'll see who the other Opal is tomorrow. Trey said, I feel like they make it hella easy. 35 points in one block and something else is easy. I agree. I agree. Sometimes 2K does give us easy challenges, but they'll also give us some pretty tough challenges sometimes. So I'm not complaining. Gabriel said, lots of triple doubles last night. There were a decent amount of triple doubles, but the best one by far, Nikola Jokic. Ultimate said, finally some good point guards who ain't old. Facts. We got John Moran. That's a pretty good PG ride there. Also, LaMelo. Is he going to be a point guard or a shooting guard? Small forward. AK said, 2K is looking pretty tedious. Tedious is a good word for it because it's pretty fun, in my opinion. I've enjoyed playing 22, but like, I mean, come on. A thousand wins for Terry Cummings. 100 wins for Pascal Siakam, 118 total wins to beat the showdown tier and get, um, what's his name? Danny Granger and all the badges and stuff. Yeah, pretty tedious stuff, not gonna lie. But fun, I enjoy doing this and streaming it. LaMelo's a point guard. Oh, that's crazy then. And LaMelo's what, like six foot eight? So he's gonna be taller than Shea Gilgis Alexander is. He's probably gonna be. I don't know. I'm not going to say he's going to be better, but like if you want Shea Gildas Alexander and you miss a wit and you miss a week, miss a ring, maybe LaMelo is going to be even better than Shea ends up being, but not going to think too far ahead. It's just a possibility. If they made Melo a shooting guard small forward, that'd be lame. Yeah, it would be kind of lame, but point guard shooting guard, that's pretty cool. I mean, he's a point guard in real life, so. It's good that he's a point guard in 2K as well. We're starting to get a lot of point guards, tall point guards. Last season, Magic Johnson. Of course, Penny Hardaway before that. Shea Gilgis, Alexander this season. And now LaMelo Ball. And eventually, we're going to see Lonzo Ball. Y'all already know that. I can't tell you when, but we're going to see him eventually. Rise Shoddy said, I got to choose to work at Burger King or Home Depot. I prefer working, I would prefer working at a place like Home Depot. What's it called? Working fast food can be rough. The truth says they gave John Moran to Opal. He's going to be really good too. He's been playing great in real life, so he deserves an Opal. There's no disputing that. Good shot, Dame. Bowser says you got Galaxy Opal tomorrow yet. Yes, I got him, I think, six hours after he came out. Yes. Good defense. They did the right thing, making Shea a point guard, but they ripped his stats. So he's not going to be relevant when he comes out. Yeah, Shea is going to be solid. Like, he's not going to be terrible. But the only good thing about him by the time he comes out is going to be the fact that he's six foot six. Because, yeah, everybody is saying that his stats are just terrible. LaFloop said the funny thing is that Opal Jaw is not going to be better than Moe's Ballin. That's true. Moe's Ballin's Jaw Morant is easily the best Jaw Morant in 2K right now. I don't spend money on the game, so I get sad. When I see new content and dope Opals, I'll never have. A truth, keep in mind, Opal's prices are going to go way down in the future. I mean, Opals right now are super expensive. Opals around this time last year were super expensive, but... When Dark Matter started coming out, when Invincible started coming out, Opal's prices went down to like 5,000, 6,000. Some guys were, you know, still over 10,000, but like, it's crazy that in just a few months, these players we're getting now, like Zion, John Morant, Luca, they're probably going to be like 30,000 MT, and that's being generous. Harry Hobby said, 
Got 40 wins so far for Pascal Siakam. Not a bad start. Pascal Siakam's going to be awesome. No, he is awesome. I already have him. I can confirm he's great. So, yeah, lock in, pick him up. He's a really good power forward. One of my favorites in the game right now. Easy jump shot, great handles, great defense. All around, really good card. No! I want threes. Can't believe I almost shot a two by accident. Eh, that was a bad shot too. Trey said, do I go to Bulls game or Grizzlies game? I'm four hours away from both. Um, man, I've never been to a Bulls game. I've been to a Grizzlies game, but never the Bulls. I would choose the Bulls. I mean, the Grizzlies are killing it in real life, but I don't know. The Bulls, the Madhouse on Madison, all the history. I would pick the Bulls game over the Grizzlies game, even though Grizzlies games are dope. I've been. The truth said Porzingis will be hard guard for anything Amethyst and up. Yeah, Porzingis is always a glitch, man. I mean, if you're that tall and you can shoot that well and move that fast, yeah, you're going to be a glitch. Porzingis, whenever he gets a new card, he's going to be a beast. Andrew said, I'm sad. I missed out on Dame last season. Man, I'm sad you did too because this Dame is great. But we're going to get a good Dame eventually. You're going to have the chance to get another Dame eventually. Damar said, read my last. One second, Damar. Let me see what you said. Damar said, just beat a guy in clutch time with Opal Curry, Clay, Jamison Cousins. And I had Kyrie, Harden, Clay, Wang. Wow. Say, that's a, that's a good win for you. That's a very good win for you. That's a dub for my boy Damar. LaFloop said good night. Doc, take it easy, LaFloop. Have a good night, man. Alex said, what's up, Doc? What's good, Alex? Welcome to the stream. The truth says same. I missed on Dame, but got Wall from the vault. John Wall is still so good. I see so many guys using him because he's so cheap on the auction house now. Nah, he's good. John Wall is really good. Miami said Doc is so goaded. I appreciate that. We're almost done with this grind, by the way. Let me go ahead and step back. Missed that three. Like I was saying, though, we're almost done with this grind. I think we have, like, 12 games left. Let's just stop messing around. Let's go ahead and win this thing. Max said, did you get Xavier McDaniel? Yes, I've gotten him twice. Ultimate says, I'm annoyed. I didn't get Maurice Lucas. Because he seems pretty common. Yes, he does. I'm seeing everybody getting Maurice Lucas on Xbox and PlayStation. If you get level 40, though, you can get him from beyond level 40. Hey, what's up, Candice? Welcome to the stream. Damar said Diamond Clay is very nice. Yeah, Diamond Clay is still great. Even though the Opal's, you know, insane, the Diamond's still a beast, too. Splash said, what do you use to make your thumbnails? Hmm, Canva, Canva. I had to remember the name. Yeah, Canva is great. It's on, you know, PC and mobile. So it's pretty easy to use, pretty user friendly. Just upload your pictures. You can, you know, edit your pictures however you want to. You can put pictures in pictures. You can change the lighting of your images and like change the blur. It's really good for making thumbnails. Joe Johnson's a bucket for his price. Yes, he is. Joe Johnson, he's a buy now. Both of his cards are buy nows, but yeah, both of them are great. Gotta make that dame. Turk said, why is Opal Clay 600k? Because he's really good. Also, he gives you a ton of XP. So, both of those things. Come Bucket said, there's beyond 40 this season. Yes. We're not going to get it until, like, you know, way later in the season. But there is Beyond 40 again, which I think is great. So, Beyond 40 is going to include Shea Gildas Alexander, the Triple Threat Online and Offline Opals in, later in the season. 
and of course the draft reward and Maurice Lucas. So Tony Parker, Maurice Lucas, Shea Gilgis, and whoever those triple threat players end up being. Hey, good morning, Migs. Welcome to the stream, my brother. Also, what's up, Ryan? I'm doing great. I appreciate you asking, Ryan. Hope everything's going well with you, too. Come Bucket said, that is such a dub. Facts. I'm excited for it. Solo says, I'm going to buy MT soon for challenges. Oh, so you can buy players for XP challenges? That makes sense. Thankfully for me, I've been pretty good saving up my MT. Ryan says, I'm so stoked. I got Mo Lucas and X-Man today. That is really good. Mo Lucas, I'd say, is the better player. But X-Man is still a beast. The truth said people rely so much on threes that it's so predictable playing online. You're right. Honestly. Honestly, at clutch time, it's a pretty tough game mode. But so many times, dudes just go for the three. They hunt for threes. And... You don't even have to worry about the drive so much of the time. So, you're not wrong. But yes, that clay does force you to like actually play defense off the ball. Toxic Dude said, are you a good shooter in real life? No, I'm a great shooter. Damar says, I used to be 5-21 and 21 in clutch time, all time. Now I'm 13-26. and 26. That's definitely an improvement, definitely. That's really good, Damar. Well, not really good, but you know what I mean. You've made a comeback after a rough start. The Snipe Grinder said, John ja Morant Opal is going to be so mid, he's going to have 89 perimeter D, maybe a 86. Yeah, Landon. He's probably not going to be as good as Moe's Ballin's John ja Morant. Moe's Ballin's John ja Morant is insane. Ultimate said, I'm trying to get good at the dunk meter. Man, I'm still not very good with it. It depends on the player, I think. But I'm not very good with dunk meter. I know I just talked about relying on threes, but... Yeah, in triple threat, in unlimited, I do go for the three way more than I go for contact dunks. Maybe this game. I can kind of practice with the dunk meter. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. Bad idea. Let's just shoot threes. Harry says, I forgot to drop a like. Come on, Harry. You guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already. We have 130 people in here. I know we have way more than 130 likes, but you guys make sure to drop a like for me if you haven't already to help this stream get out there. Candace said, I wish I was good at clutch time. I mean, clutch time is an adjustment. Just because you're not good right now doesn't mean you can't get better. I think the biggest key to clutch time is just locking up on defense and running the floor as fast as you can. I mean, it's a 14 second shot clock, so once you get a stop on defense, you immediately gotta be ready to run the fast break and put yourself in position to score. So, use good defenders, use a lineup that's, you know, has fast players. I think a perfect player for clutch time is DeMar DeRozan at the power forward or the small forward position. I also use Kawhi Leonard, Baron Davis. You can also use guys like Lillard, Iverson, even John Wall, Clay Thompson. Just fast-paced players who can run the floor, play defense, get stops, and then in transition make open threes, layups, dunks. That's the big key in clutch time, using players who can push the pace and also, you know, slow down and get stops on defense. So yeah. Use players who are good defensively, like Damar, like Kawhi, like Paul Silas, for example, if you have him. And yeah, defense in clutch time is pretty easy because the court's so small. And honestly, you could just play off the ball if you really wanted to. I try to play on ball as much as I can. I'll switch off to play help defense and stuff and bait passes, but the court's so small. There's not much spacing. I think this defense is easier in clutch time, just like Ultimate said. So, it's really all about getting a feel for it, getting stops, and then just running that fast break, running those lanes as fast as you can. Eleven says, I can't green with Robert Reed. I don't like Robert Reed. Usually, I give most cards the benefit of the doubt, but I'm not a big fan of Robert Reed. 
Candace says I got Demar. Yeah, Demar is a really good player for clutch time. He can defend in the post. He's not going to get mashed. All around, really fun card. You guys know what else is pretty great? We are 10 wins away from Terry Cummings. 10 wins should take me about, I want to say 40 more minutes. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, 10 wins to go. Harry said, just dropped a like. I appreciate that, Harry. Ultimate said, short shot clock too. If people make one or two mistakes, exactly, yeah. Like, in clutch time, realistically, you're going to get like one or two good looks. Every possession down the court. Maybe. Maybe. If you're able to like run around, get open, you'll get like one or two good looks at the basket. So, either you got to like take the dunk. You can't take too much time three hunting or being picky about your shot selection. If you get an open shot in clutch time, you got to take it the second you see it because you're probably not going to get another opportunity. 14 second shot clock, small court, makes it so easy to get stops. Hey, what up, Shawnee? Welcome back to the stream. Gabriel says, I just can't score 32 points with Robert. Have you done it? Yes, I have. I wouldn't say it was easy because, yeah, it was definitely not easy. But the biggest key for me was just driving to the rim and attacking mismatches with him. I can't remember who the point guard for the, the Robert Reed game is. Wait, no, wait. I think that's a 5-on-5 game. Basically, I tried to get open threes with him. Like, get dunks, layups, mismatches. I'm pretty sure Robert Reed's game was 5-on-5. Five five. CB Wood said how many wins you have. Dude, 990. 10 wins to go. 10 more dubs. We're going to see how fast we can get them done. Trey said the season's easy. You should have a giveaway to one of your fans and grind 40 or some other prize in game modes in my team. So I should get on someone's account and grind for them? That'd be interesting. I don't know if I have time for it, though. But maybe. I'm not going to rule that out. Good shot, Dane. Sean said, I need Antoine Signature to get him. I have 877 MT. 877,000 MT? I'm guessing that's what you meant. You definitely have enough for Antoine. You have enough for all those signatures. Hey, what up, CJ? Welcome to the stream. Ultimate said, big tip for anybody still playing 100 games for Siakam. If you're about to get a shot clock violation, just throw up a shot. As long as you, yeah, exactly. Just throw a shot up, man. In clutch time, the sliders are terrible. I showed you guys earlier all those clips of those guys getting bailed against me. Anything can go in in clutch time, no matter how contested it is. Everything can go in the basket. Josh said, have you done the 50 points with the Amethyst? Yes. Also, CJ, I think I said hi to you already, but welcome to the stream. Just in case. Rise Shoddy said that could be a good reward for something crazy like a couple thousand watch hours. That would be crazy. That would be a big commitment if somebody managed to get like 2,000 watch hours. Also, Candace, I have not gotten 40 yet. We are level 39 right now. We're going to hit 40 tomorrow. We're going to get Yao Ming tomorrow. Gabriel said, scoring with Robert is hard because you have two towers waiting in the paint. True, true, but you can also run past them if you get switched onto them. And, of course, if you're on a shorter player, you can score on them. I think I scored a lot of my points on, like, post-ups and spot-up threes. I can't remember, though. CJ said, how many wins you at? Um, 991. Yeah, 991, so nine games to go, and this stream's in the books. Hey, what's up, Louisel? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Come Bucket says, at that rate, they probably see you more than their own family. Facts. 2,000 watch hours? Man. I mean, 24 hours in a day. <laughs> my gosh. Yeah. If they're watching me for 2,000 plus hours... They're definitely seeing me more than they see their family. You're not wrong about that. 
Also, Miami, you're not wrong either. You are the closest person to 2,000 watch hours. I appreciate all the support, but if any of you guys get 2,000 watch hours, man, I think I'd be concerned, even though I appreciate the support, because that is a lot of time watching one dude play a game. That's a lot of time watching one dude stream. Pink Diamond Point Guard Lamello's coming tomorrow. I'm excited. Me too. Me too. I'm already excited for a pack opening. Already. Mad Dog says I called for a screen and pulled up with Reed. His shot isn't bad once you get used to it. True. About to say. His shot's not terrible, but the release point is so low, so it's so easy to contest. Very easy shot to contest. Trev said, can you just leave the stream on though? You do stuff. Yes, yeah, true, you could do that, but you don't get hours if you leave the stream on without talking. You get points, but you don't get hours towards the leaderboard unless you actually talk in the chat. Which is kind of weird, but I get it. Abay said, what's good, Doc? I had to get something done, but I'm back. Welcome back, Abay. I don't think you've missed that much. We have eight games to go if we somehow win this game. Eight wins shouldn't take us too long. Maybe half an hour. Maybe less. Lucas Gamer said, I need a center. What do you recommend? Um, how much MT do you have? Serge Ibaka's pretty good. Barniani ain't bad. Of course, you could also get someone more expensive like Jideon. You could even get David Robinson. But yeah, Wang Zhiji, Evan Mobley, Barniani, Ibaka. Solid budget centers. Hey, what up, Technical? Welcome to the stream. Abe said, I'm here to stay. Yes, sir, Abe. It is good to have you in the building. Eight games to go. We should not lose. I mean, every game this stream has been a pretty easy win. So this should be no different right here. Ryan said, what cards are coming out tomorrow? As of right now, we know LaMelo and we know John Morant. I'm guessing Will Chamberlain. I'm thinking Will. Landon said, Doc equals family. This channel's my family. Hey, I appreciate you always showing up and supporting Landon. I mean, we got an awesome community here. We got a lot of awesome people supporting this channel. You're one of them, man. You're one of the most supportive people out there. And I can't thank you enough for all you do for this channel. Josh said, Sadiq Bey, Chuma Akiki, Josh Giddy, Devontae Graham, and Robert Williams. Who do I choose? Um, the best player out of all those guys is definitely, what's his name? Definitely Sadiq Bey. But I think the easiest challenge is Robert Williams' triple-double. I think that's the easiest challenge because he's tall, he's a center, he gets rebounds so easily, and he's great defensively, he can score, and you can just get that triple-double in rookie domination. So I think Robert Williams is the easiest challenge out of all those guys. What up, Solo DF? What up, Warriors fan? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. <laughs> hey, Ape said to Marcus Cousins the third. Yes, Gideon, Pink Diamond. Nah, I'm kidding. Good shot, Dame. Miami said, am I one of them? Yes. That's my guy right there, Miami. And Landon, two of the biggest supporters of the channel. Really good mods, too. Bowser said, Galaxy Opal, Bill Russell tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. I think Will Chamberlain tomorrow. Bill Russell, he got a diamond last season. He also has an NBA 75 card already, so I'm thinking not Bill Russell tomorrow. Possibly Oscar Robertson. Possibly Will Chamberlain. We'll have to see. Mig said DeMarcus. Meeting DeMarcus was great. Facts. DeMarcus the first. <laughs> Meeting the third. Go ahead and pass that to the corner. Nice. Josh said, I need a better center anyways. Hey, Robert Williams is a pretty good one. And of course, if you finish up Robert Williams' challenge, you can get Mitchell Robinson. 
if you do Mitchell Robinson's challenge, you can get, you know, Ping Diamond, Capella, Jalen Brown, Oubre. The options are endless, and some of those moments players are really, really good. Hey, what up, Doopy Guy? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Double J? Wiseman said, finally got X-Man. Yes, sir, Wiseman. X-Man's a beast. Xavier McDaniel is 100% that dude. Trey said, why do I feel like my team YouTubers don't get more credit for what y'all do? I feel like the my team community, even though it is big, it's not as big as the park and the, you know, my career community is. And of course, 2K this year hasn't been the most popular year of 2K, so views across the entire community have been down, including mine. Of course, they've gotten back up lately, but that's a big reason why my team creators can kind of get, you know, slept on a little bit, I'd say. Guys like Denver Struck, Moe's Ballin, should have way more subs, but of course, it's been a rough start to the year for my team. Even guys like Energetic, Why You Mad, should have more subs. I mean, I can talk about a lot of guys that should have more subs, but I'm just thinking about guys off the top of my head who have a lot of subs already, but could have way more if my team content was just a little bit more sought for, I guess, is the word. My team content is great, but a lot of people care more about Park and my career and stuff. They don't realize how fun my team is until later in the year. My team really begins to pick up traction later in the year. Once we start getting, you know, Opals, Dark Matters, that's when things really start to pick up traction. But for my career in Park, I mean, there's guys racing for Legend right off the bat. There's guys, you know, making builds right off the bat. And everyone's looking for the best builds, the best Park players and all that stuff. And yeah, I think right off the bat, it's the My Career community and the Park community, Rec stage, that gets a lot more recognition. You also see more My Career guys get logos. Candace says, love watching HTB. Me too. I'm also subbed to HTB. That guy's awesome. Good rebound. Wiseman said, do you think Donovan is going to tank tomorrow? A little bit. I mean, I think John ja Morant will have to see what his stats and badges are like. And depending on how good he ends up being, we could possibly see... We could possibly see Donovan tank a little bit in price, but... He's still so good because he can play the PG. So athletic, great jump shot. Yeah. The truth said 2K in general, as opposed to MLB The Show, is lacking on free content. That's facts. That's facts. I played MLB The Show pretty much all summer before 2K22 came out. And the free content's awesome. I mean, Road to the Show is also great. Possibly the best career mode in any sports game. Michael said that Mello will be fire. Bye bye, Donovan. Facts. Mello, he's going to be pretty fast. I'm guessing he's going to have an easy jump shot. He's going to be expensive right off the gate. Right out the gates. Saya said how many wins? 994. 994. So, six wins to go. Should take less than 20 minutes if I really play well. Daniel said song. This song is Lost It All by Will V. Lost It All. Somebody earlier asked the exact same question. What's this song? Yeah, this is a good song. Oh, I gotta make that three though. Let me go ahead and pull the chat back up. And we're good. DeMar DeRozan said, I'm 14 and 26 now. Yes, sir. You're slowly getting that record back up. You said you were like 8 and 21, 5 and 21, something like that. Eventually, you're going to be back at 500, Damar. Doopy said MLB The Show was so much fun during the summer and into the later months of the year. Facts. It started dying down a little bit, but nah, MLB The Show was so fun this past summer. Whenever I was not playing 2K, I was playing MLB The Show. The truth said be careful with copyright issues. Yeah, YouTube is weird with that, but I'm careful with the truth. Every single song in this playlist is non-copyrighted. 
So I'm good. Unless one of these songs just randomly gets copyrighted one day. I'm good though, Truth. I appreciate you looking out for me. Sean said, just got Antoine. Free XP, yes sir. I kind of want to get Antoine, but I'm going to be able to get Yao Ming tomorrow. Even if I don't get Antoine, so... Hey, what up, JJ? Welcome to the stream. Muhammad said, who's going to win? Dallas or the Suns? I got the Suns. Actually, I don't know. Luke is coming off an amazing game, but he might be a bit worn down from that. Might be kind of tired from that. I got the Suns. Melly said, do you watch Denver Struck? That's my guy right there. I love his content. Yeah, Denver Struck. That's my brother right there, man. You should make an MLB The Show channel. What would I call that channel? Baseball Doc? That would be funny. I mean, I do love baseball. And you guys know I love the Braves. Been a Braves fan for years. It's about damn time they won the championship. Turk said, top three My Team YouTubers. CP The Doc, HTB, Denver Struck. Nah, those guys are way better than I am. Way better. They have way bigger channels, of course, but... The amount of time they put into their content is crazy. Yeah, I'm nowhere near Denver Struck and HTB, but maybe one day. Hey, yo, Doug. Miami said, fun fact, Doc is a mod for Denver Struck. That's true. That's 100% true. He, he doesn't stream anymore, though. He's been making some awesome videos. Denver's videos are bangers every time, but he hasn't been streaming much lately. I miss it. King Josiah said five games away. Yes, sir. 35 three-pointers away. 34 three-pointers away. Ryan said, do you know who Oko Dre is? I'm a moderator in his streams too. And Oko Dre actually reached out to me at the beginning of 2K21. And we've been pretty tight ever since. When Oko Dre first talked to me, I had like 4,000 subs. He had like 8,000 subs, so he really hit me up when I was like small, I was trying to grow. I think I averaged like 20 or so viewers when Oko Dre found my channel and started supporting me. So we've both grown a lot. We've come a long way in about a year, a little over a year, I'd say. Doopy guy said, I went to the Baseball Hall of Fame a few days ago. That is so dope. When I was in New York about, I want to say four weeks ago, I made a stop by the Yankee Stadium. It is beautiful. I'm not a Yankees fan, but I can't say it wasn't nice. Mig says, whatever happened to Energenic, he was flying, he got 100k subs, and then he stopped. Energenic, he hasn't really been enjoying 2K22 as much as he enjoyed 2K21. His content is still just as good, if not better than it was during 2K21. But I mean, he just hasn't had the same amount of time. He hasn't been enjoying the game as much and he hasn't been giving as much content to us, which is understandable because you never want to do something too much if you don't enjoy doing it. So yes. Why you mad's another guy who hasn't really made much content this year because he got a new job, he's been super busy with that. He's making good money. He's making good money, but I know we all miss his content, for sure. That guy is great. Really, a lot of guys I'm close with. You know, Why You Mad, for example, Energenic, No Limit Zo 2. A lot of guys I know just haven't been making content for my team as much lately. And my boy Incredible Lino, he just quit making my team content, making 2K content, so. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of guys start to, you know, kind of just get tired of playing the game, run through the motions a bit. And at the end of the day, man, those are my guys. So I want them to do what's best for them. Abe said, Energenic's been losing subs, which I really don't understand. I mean, I know he hasn't been posting, but like his content's good. His content is good. Turk says, Energenic posts Snipe Filter videos. Nobody wants that. That's not true though. Everybody wants that. Snipe Filter videos are good. 
Everybody wants to make MT. Everybody wants to, you know, find ways to make MT easy. And Snipe Filter videos from Energenic, MedGC, you know, guys like that, SP2K, IJ Josh. It's really helpful content. Really helpful content. Josiah said, I be trying to stream my team, but my streams are dry. Dude, if you think your streams are dry, you should see how my streams used to be. My streams used to have like one viewer, two viewers when I first got started. But then I got some people to start supporting me and any content I posted. So then it was averaging like five, six viewers. And then before long, my streams were getting like, you know, 10, 15. And by the end of NBA 2K20, I was averaging like 50, 60 viewers. It was pretty good. But then NBA 2K21 came out and my channel was like, man, it got so dry again. I would stream Domination and stuff, and Unlimited and stuff, for like, how many viewers? Like, I want to say, 10 to 15. But then I stayed with it the entire year, 2K21 started picking up steam, and then by the end of 2K21, I had streams with like, 500 average viewers, 1000 average viewers, 700, like, it's all about persistence. But think about that, I began 2K21 averaging about 12 viewers, and I began 2K22 averaging over 100. Even when the game was super dry earlier in the year, I was still averaging over 100 viewers in my stream. So that shows that you can, you know, grow if you just keep on putting in time and effort. And also if you reach out and meet other guys in the community too. So I can't just credit myself for my growth. I got to credit, you know, the people who watch my channel, but also the guys in the community who motivate me to make more content. But also, I love playing the game, so that helps a lot, too. You got to enjoy doing what you do if you're going to grow. Eh, we have a mismatch, so I'm just going to shoot a snatchback right here. That works, too. Muhammad said Steph Curry wore down. I mean, he's going to be all right as the season goes on. He's shooting the worst percentages of his career. But, he's gonna be alright, he's just in a bit of a slump right now. We all know he's the best shooter in the league. Josiah said, good tips, thank you. No problem, man, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. I mean, literally less than two years ago, I had about a thousand subs. So, I've grown a long time, or come a long way, grown a lot, in a decent little time frame. It's all about just putting in as much time as you can and just loving what you do. And I love doing this. Damar said, White Mamba secured. Yes, sir, Damar. 90 more wins for Siakam. 40 more for Mark Price. KP said, How long does it take for Cassie Russell? Is different for everybody. Turk said, Rating 1 to 10. How stupid is I show speed? I don't really watch him, so I'm really not sure. Doopy guy said, do I start playing my team? Your decision. Your decision. I mean, I think it's fun. I think my team's a whole lot of fun. I prefer it personally over Park, over my career, and just the amount of content throughout the entire year is what makes me really enjoy my team. JJ said, is the card you're going for worth it? Hopefully, yes. I mean, I don't really care if he's worth it or not. I just want this grind to be over, baby. I want to get this Terry Cummings and add him to my collection. My reward collection. Los Santos said, how do you get low rating matchups? Oh, dude. So, in Triple Threat Offline, if you use two gold players, you match up versus two gold players. So, I'm using Damian Lillard, and he's the one good player on my team. I'm also using two gold players, and I'm playing versus a team of Penny Hardaway and two gold players, so if you want super easy matchups in TTO, just use gold players, and you're set. Hey, what's up, Amir? Welcome to the stream. About to get to Mar. That's awesome. Demarvelous. That was a terrible pass, but yes, Demar is awesome. The truth said, do your wins reset? If you lose three games. 
Um, your wins don't reset all the way back to zero, but they reset to the very beginning of the tier you're in. So if you're in the tier, you know, from 11 to 20 wins, if you're at 19 wins, you go back to 10 wins. If you're at 25 wins, you go back to 20. If you're at 36, you go back to 30. So your wins don't reset all the way to zero, but they do reset to the beginning of whatever tier you're in. Yes. Christian said, ankles! Yeah, we are abusing these guys' ankles, man. One more three-pointer, and I should have takeover, which means even more ankle breaking. Oh, of course I missed it, though. Yeah, one more three, and we should have takeover. Penny's a good defender, but we're still knocking down that three. Ben Park said, I just watched your invincible Luka grind from 2K21. That was classic. I got Luka in like less than two days. Dude, I miss 2K21 sometimes, but I think 2K22 is the better game, especially the more realistic game, since not everybody is curry sliding, not everybody is speed boosting. Even though this game is not perfect, I do think it's better gameplay wise than 21. Noah said, see ya, Doc. Take it easy, Noah. I'll see you around, my man. Let's see if I can cross up Penny Hardaway. Or not. I'll just step back and knock it down. That works, too. Muhammad said the Bulls needed the win versus the Cavs, and they got it. Yes, they did. The Cavs were in the lead for a little while, but, man, the Bulls, they really pulled away in the end. Without Zach Levine. I see Snipe said how many wins you have. 998. We are two wins away from 1,000. So let's close out these final two games. Let's get it done. Christian said if Beyond Level 40 comes back, who's going to be in the pack? Um, so Galaxy Opal, Shea Gildas Alexander, Maurice Lucas, Tony Parker. And later in the season, on January 31st, we're getting two new Opals in Triple Threat. So, those two guys are also going to be in the packs. Doopy Guy said, is Lino quitting 2K? Yes. Milhob says, are you doing TTO after this? Um, not in this stream, but yes, I'm going to get Kazzy Russell after I get, um, what's his name? Terry Cummings. How am I forgetting his name? How do I forget that, man? I've been grinding for this card for so long, and we're about to get him, and I forget his name. What's up with me, man? But yes, yeah, so today we're playing Triple Threat Offline. Tomorrow we're getting Yao Ming. And then I think Monday or Sunday, whatever day I stream next, I'm going to get Kazzy Russell. Or I'm going to try to get Kazzy Russell. We already have Mark Price. We have Pascal Siakam. The other day, I should have gotten Tony Parker, but my luck was terrible, so we'll probably get him next week. We'll see. I really haven't thought that far ahead. A Bay said, no, Lino, I know. Man, when Lino posted that video, I was so sad that he's quitting. But, like, I get why he's quitting. I mean, 2K content this year has not been fun for a lot of people. I've enjoyed it, but... I know a lot of guys who aren't enjoying playing the game. A lot of guys who just aren't as into it as they were last year. And Lino, he's going to make great real life content. So, yeah. Even though he's done playing 2K, he is not done with YouTube. So, keep that in mind. Lino's quitting 2K, but he's not done with YouTube. Kuso said, what's up? What's up, Kuso? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry I missed your first message, but I saw that one. Welcome to the stream, Kuso. Oh no, I meant to shoot. I meant to shoot a step back three right there. <sighs> no big deal. Zach said Sunday streams are lit for real. I mean, the vibes are always chill in all my streams, but especially Sunday. Los Santos said, do your wins reset after every season? In Triple Threat Offline, no. In Triple Threat Online, Unlimited, Clutch Time, yes. But 
In triple threat offline, no. Hey, what's up, Claudia? Welcome to the stream. You guys who are joining now, y'all are a little bit late, but better late than never. We are 25 points away from getting 1,000 wins, so let's lock in. Let's win this thing. We're about to be one game away. That's crazy. Look at JJ Redick hitting the floor. The heel most said, I got Tony Parker yesterday. I've heard he's not bad. Then again, I don't know anybody who actually likes Tony Parker. His Galaxy Opal, I mean. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Tony Parker, man. I really enjoyed watching him play, so I'm going to try and pick him up. Henrique said, do you went to university? Um, I'm in school right now, yes. I go to UAB. Sean said, what's up? What's good, Sean? Welcome to the stream. Harry said, no one likes you. Melly said, do you know who Kill is? I do. Yeah, Kill's a... He has a great YouTube channel, man. Great content. One more win. One more win. For anybody who's wondering, one win away. Let's go ahead and do it. All we need is seven threes. Kuso said, who's your favorite player? In real life, Carmelo. In 2K... Pink Diamond, Kawhi Leonard. I like Siakam too, though. Muhammad said, do you like John Morant in Memphis? I do. I'm not a fan of John Morant. No, 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 I'm not a fan of the Grizzlies. I like the Grizzlies, but they're not my favorite team. That's what I meant by that, so, yeah. That's what I meant by that. I like John Morant a lot. The Grizzlies, though, they're not my favorite team. My number one team's the Knicks. JGR said, not going to lie, if we don't get a wilt, Yao's reign of terror on all other centers will continue. Facts. Also, for some reason, my controller is vibrating for no reason, so let me turn off my control real quick. Okay, it's done vibrating. For some reason, my controller just started vibrating out of nowhere, so yeah, I don't know what that was, but let's go ahead and close out this game strong. Six more threes, and we're done. JJ said, didn't JJ Redick retire? Yes, he did. JJ Redick is out of the league. Good shot. Alrighty. Five more threes, and we're at a thousand wins. Terry Cummings. Good steal. Let's run it. Good shot, Dame. Four more threes. Kuso said, are you going to get John Morant? On my other account, maybe, because I'm doing a pack opening on my other account tomorrow. And I'm going to post the results on Saturday. Come Bucket said, I don't know how you can hate Doc. He's the most positive YouTuber. I was going to say, I don't really... Try to be mean to anybody in my streams. I always try to keep things chill in the chat, but some people just don't like me. I can't really do anything about it, though. All I can do is just keep on playing the game and talking to the people who do support me for real. So, I appreciate y'all. Good defense. All right. Two more threes. Two more threes and we're done. Oh, yeah. Al Harrington hits the floor. Let's step back and knock down that three. Or not. Let's miss it. Let's miss it instead. Let's break him again. And there we go. One more three. And we got a thousand wins. You guys get ready to spam those dubs in the chat. I'm pulling up from way outside. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. One thousand wins in Triple Threat Offline. We got Pascal Siakam and Mark Price the other day. We have Baron Davis. We got Mo Lucas. We grinded draft mode the other day for Tony Parker. We're getting Yao Ming tomorrow. And right here, right now, a thousand wins. That really didn't take us too long. That didn't take us too long at all. Hey, Kayleen, Muhammad, Ultimate, Afshin, Ryan, both Ryans, 11. You guys spam those dubs in the chat. Let me go ahead and do my signature pose right quick. Signature pose. I had to do it. 
Let's go ahead and get this man out of this pack right quick. Also, I gotta open all these heat check packs. I got out the vault, so let's get Terry Cummings out that pack. And then we'll open our heat check packs. And hopefully we get something good. Woo! That Opal Glow. Eleven said, is he any good? Yes. Hey, I appreciate the dubs, guys. Black one, worst 2K player. Ryan, Kevin, Zach. Ryan said, the ultimate grinder. Yes, sir. And like I said earlier, we're getting Yao Ming tomorrow. Ultimate grinder. Definitely. Welcome to the stream, Ryan. Good to have you in the building. And yeah, I had to do those poses real quick for my screenshot. Let's go ahead and open these packs right here. We got so many heat check packs out in the vault. Ryan said gameplay video. Hmm. Gameplay video. For Terry Cummings, probably not. For Yao Ming tomorrow, probably yes. Actually, I don't know. Because if there's not a gameplay video for Terry Cummings on YouTube, I might go ahead and make one to be honest with you. Josh said, yo, that's 1,000. I'm only at 35. Whew. Hey, man. You have a lot of work to do, but you have the entire season to catch up. Ryan said, Pascal, two days. Terry today. Yao tomorrow. Yes, sir, Ryan. I know you've been grinding, too. I know you got Pascal. I know you were a big grinder, too. Ryan's one of the best as well. Ham family said, what's up? What's good, ham family? Welcome to the stream. You're a tad bit late, ham family. We just got Terry Cummings, but we're about to take a quick look at his stats and see how good he really is on paper. I might not shoot around with him, but we're going to at least look at the stats and the badges. Jalen said, can we see his jumper? Yes. So yeah, we're going to check his stats right after this. Luka Doncic. I'm pretty sure I have him. Never mind. I guess I don't. We got a shake from a heat check pack. That's crazy. Let's open this pack, and then we'll check out Terry's stats. A Ruby. Chris Paul. Limitless spot up and dead eye though. Do y'all see that? Limitless and dead eye in that same pack. Let's go to my main lineup, and let's sub in... Let's, let's put him on the bench, Terry Cummings. Here's my starting five right now. I got Iverson off the bench, Terry Cummings, Pascal Siakam. Honestly, I might put Siakam right here and LeBron right here. And DeRozan, I'll put him like right here for Jason Richardson. Let's take a quick look at Terry Cummings though, man. 99 overall offense, 91 defense. He's a power forward, six foot nine, 85 three-point shot, 90 because Steph Curry's my coach. 95 mid-range shot with Curry, 80 driving dunk, eh, not a great ball handle, 85 block, 88 interior, 90 rebounding, 84 speed, eh, 15 Hall of Fame badges though, post spin technician, drop stepper, put back boss, box, rise up, he looks like a really good interior center, slash power forward, who can also actually hit jump shots, catch and shoot, corner specialist, rim protector, intimidator, not sure how much I'm actually going to use this card, but you guys know me. I'm a reward collector. He's got gold quick first step, bullet passer. I guess we'll go test out the jump shot. And then we'll raid somebody. And then we'll end the stream. So let's go ahead and check out Terry Cummings and shoot around. It feels good to have him, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm going to use him very often. He can shoot from the corners. He's got hot zones from the corners. Let's go ahead and put the difficulty on Hall of Fame. And let's start firing some jumpers. Ugh. Ugh, that jump shot is... It's, it's going in, but... It's like Cliff Robinson's, but a little bit faster. He's alright. He's alright. He's going to be able to catch and shoot from the corners. He's got some really good post-scoring badges. Some really good interior shooting badges. And this is on Hall of Fame. You guys saw... We're shooting on the toughest difficulty, greening some threes. He's got gold corner specialist, gold catch and shoot, and 85 three-point rating, 90 with my coach. Dunk animations, nothing special, I don't think. Can he shoot from the top of the key? He probably can, but he doesn't have limitless spot up. Doesn't have dead eye, blinders. 
Doesn't have many great shooting badges, but he's got a good catch and shoot jumper. And even though it's kind of slow, if he's open, he's probably not going to miss. Ben, my coach is Steph Curry. My coach is Curry. Also, something surprising about this card is that he has quick first step. Oh, he can also do this. He can also do that quick little hesitation dribble thing. So, gold quick first step, fast off the dribble. Surprisingly good little moves right there. He's doing that same hesitation thing as Pascal Siakam. Terry Cummings can actually do this off the dribble. Who would have thought he can pull out all those combos and dunk? Still not a great card for a Galaxy Opal, but I wouldn't say he's trash either. Maybe for all the wins you have to get for him, he's not great. And also look at his shorts right now. He's wearing a skirt right now, but yeah, we got him. That's another Galaxy Opal added to the squad. Two days ago, we got Pascal Siakam. Today, we got Terry Cummings, who seems to be a pretty decent shooter. Soon, we'll go for Kazi Russell. Soon, we'll go for Yao Ming, Danny Granger, but I'd say this man right here is a dub. Feels good to have this man on the squad, Terry Cummings. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this stream. It's almost been four and a half hours, and... I'd say that we are ready to end things right now. Let's go ahead and transition over to this menu. And then we're going to transition over to YouTube and raid somebody. So let's see who's live right now. Let me see if any of my boys are live. And the answer is a lot of my boys are live. Four of them to be exact. Let's go ahead and transition over to my YouTube. In three, two, one, boom. Lino is live. IJ Josh is live too. He raided me the other day. Josh is my guy, but he's not the one who's quitting my team. My boy Lino is giving away 100,000 MT 60 times. And you guys probably want some MT. So let's raid Lino. Lino's my brother. I hate that he's done playing 2K, done playing my team. I hate it for him because his channel's great, his content's great, but... I promise you guys, this man's entertaining, you're going to enjoy his channel, so join this link right here, this is his final 2k stream, he's giving away MT, so if you want MT, join this link, join his stream, subscribe to Lino, drop a like, and spam CP the Doc Raid in the chat. Let Lino know that it's CP the Doc coming through for the raid, so let me go ahead and turn down my music, and... Let's see what Lino's got to say. Uh, wait a minute. On who? Let's see what Lino's got to say. There he is right there, right above me. Great dude. Great content. Let me close out this poll. No, not report poll. Let's go ahead and, yeah, dismiss the poll. And there we go. The chat's going crazy. Parker, Ryan, Los Santos. Who else is in here from the Ray? Let me scroll up. Doopy guy. CB Wood. Trey. Eleven. Shout out to everybody coming through with the raid. Melly, bonus time. You do see a raid, Lano. Yes, we got a raid. I'm telling you, if you love my content, you're going to love this guy's energy right here. Join his stream. He's giving away a lot of MT. He's pretty much done playing 2K on his channel. So come through and say what's up to him. Let me say thank you to Lano. Had to come through. Bro, my stream went well, and I'm glad to see you're live, even though this is the last dance. About to hit the gym, but I'll be back. That's my brother Lino, man. That's my guy right there. He's got 69 viewers right now, 70, but we still have 80 people in my stream, so you guys join Lino's stream, join that link, because we're about to end things right here. Let's go ahead and close out the stream, and I gotta say, this was a pretty good stream. We got Terry Cummings, which was our big goal. We reached 1,000 wins in Triple Threat, which means we're done progressing for the season, which is a pretty good feeling. 
we got Terry Cummings. And tomorrow, we're probably going to add Yao Ming to my squad. Which means Cliff Robinson, I might have to say goodbye to you as my starting center. We're going to have Baron, Kawhi, LeBron, Siakam, and whew, Yao Ming tomorrow. It's going to be a fun grind. So you guys come through and enjoy it. For today, though, we got Terry Cummings, and I'm happy with that. Melly, Caleb Martin, everybody else who's still hanging around in the stream, thank you so much for being here. Thank y'all for supporting. We averaged well over 100 viewers this stream, nearly 150. So thanks to everybody who showed up, everybody who enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to seeing y'all again tomorrow. Stay chill, stay safe, have a good night, and get ready for a big content day tomorrow. Take it easy, boy plays, Melly, Miami, everybody. And that big orange Then I met you Shit ain't been the same Like this pretty little thing Got a hold on me And we be shining With my baby That my shorty right beside me That's my ex She gon' say I did it slimy So ahead You can't see me With your hobbies Check the wrist Now we call that perfect timing